Oh, whoa, what's this? Hey, Mimi. Oh, whoa, it's Paper Mario, woo. Mario, Mario, Mario. Mar it's Paper Mario. You know, you know, okay. Uh, I don't need this. I need to. Alright, well, I, I need to at least get started here since this takes a while. To get to the actual interesting portions of the run. Start the slog yet again for another five hour pit run. Oh goody, and we're already right off the bat with more dull bones. How wonderful. At least they won't get in the way by cheering for me too hard. So I guess that's a bright side, right? I tried farming for for hate interactions on Twitter one more time because I'm currently I'm currently one and one, so I'm trying to win the best of three. I made a Hollow Knight opinion, so I'm hoping it'll work out. Just because if if nothing else, it makes me laugh. Oh, and thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. Did you guys have family Thanksgiving or did you stay home? Because I ended up canceling uh, two days ago. I was supposed to go home yesterday and go to a couple of different Thanksgivings, but just, just no. Just, just no. I know that my mom's side of the family canceled theirs. I think my dad's side still had theirs, which doesn't surprise me. They're not the brightest bunch. Not that you can't necessarily have Thanksgiving this year, but like, I know them, and I, I say they're not the brightest bunch for having Thanksgiving with the context of, I guarantee at least three quarters of the people on that side of the family uh, are, have probably fucked around way too much during quarantine the whole time anyways, so like, parents and uncle, parents and brother, nice. Small Thanksgivings, those are always, those those are all good. Glad to hear you're being safe about it. All right, well somebody's gonna get healed. Somebody's getting healed. Get healed. Get healed. All right, actually, question question for you guys. I'll probably ask more people later, just because I I I, I just I need to know. Do you guys do you guys do lunch Thanksgiving or dinner Thanksgiving? Because both side of my families do it different, and sometimes they switch it up. They switch it up too. You do dinner like every single year. I know my dad's side did lunch this year, or at least they were going to. Again, I don't actually know if they did do it or not, but. Having Thanksgiving lunch until now? I mean, it's just like, you can either, you can either sit around all day. Well, it's like you can, you can either sit around all day and then eat, eat dinner. Um, although there, there is a, is it, is it, there's a football game on Thanksgiving day or is it just everybody's super excited for the Sunday one? I don't even remember, but I know at least my mom's side, actually no, both my mom and my dad's side, they, they love football. Uh, and if I'm remembering right, there is like a game on Thanksgiving or some shit. Uh, and so they always like do lunch and then just watch football. They also just prefer the whole, like, oh, we eat lunch, and then we laze around with the food in our stomach all day, and then we eat the leftovers later. I don't know. I mean, I don't really think it matters. The main thing is you have the Thanksgiving meal, right? Like, not that Thanksgiving really means much that much, that, that, that much anyways. 
Or honestly, I mean, honestly, you could say that for, for pretty much every holiday. Like, holidays only mean what we want them to mean. I'm more just interested in holidays for the fact that, like, people taking breaks from their lives is great. Not necessarily any form of actual meaning behind the holidays. Two NFL games tonight? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Along with the fact that, like... Every once in a while, my family's like, oh, we need to do family shit, but, like, for the most part, we just kind of keep to ourselves. We'll eat, we'll eat, have a quiet lunch, whatever, because my family doesn't have jack shit in common, so it's always awkward to talk to each other. And then we just go off and do our own shit on Thanksgiving again. Like, if I still lived at home, uh, we'd have our lunch, and then I'd go downstairs, and I'd still stream on Thanksgiving anyways, to be completely honest with you. Or like if I'm, or like if I'm on one of my stream breaks, like I was in high school or college or whatever, I'd just be doing something else. But like we don't really do much together. Sometimes my mom will like push for us to play a board game. That'll be fun for a little bit. And that'll be about it. Like I don't watch football or anything, so they want to watch football. I want to go off and do streaming, play a game, do whatever. I don't know. I also, I, I, my family doesn't necessarily, but I know I have a different way of looking at holidays for most people too. So I mean, I'm probably just weird. I'm glad to just eat lunch and then have a day to chill out. It's just like a extra weekend, especially if I was in school. High school was so much fun. Well, you know, I'm glad you at least jo enjoyed it, Elmeister. That's that's good to hear. I think the only thing that I would somewhat miss about high school is the forced socialization aspect of it. But I also might just be romanticizing it due to the fact that we're mid-quarantine in a global pandemic. And since I haven't even had a, since I haven't had a job since April, I might just be going stir crazy, you know. So may, maybe that's I, I could even be romanticizing the one part that I say I liked about it. But I also went to a shitty private school in a small town with a bunch of stuck-up pricks. So like. It was Catholic school too, like, just not, not, not necessarily the greatest thing. Although I can only blame myself for, for, for proposing that I enroll into that school in the first place. So, you know, uh, I have, I have eighth grade me to blame and nobody else. Sophomore through senior me realized the fucking mistake he made though, so, you know. Hindsight 2020, am I right? I mean, yeah, and this is coming from somebody who was going to major in education. Education in this country is a joke, like... <sighs> it's kind of disgusting and it depresses me a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I've been listening to the Hamilton soundtrack for the 20th fucking time. Uh, oh, I almost forgot to do something. Un moment, por favor. Sorry, I had to do something real quick. Do that. There we go. Uh, this fight is free. Let's 
school does middle school and high school. Uh, I grew up in a town of about a thousand population uh, and did preschool through eighth grade in the... Weirdly enough, despite it being such a small town, they had a private Catholic school and then they also had a public school. And preschool through eighth grade, I went to the... Uh, I went to the, the uh, Catholic school, but they didn't have high school. The high, only the, the high, there was only one high school and it was public. Uh, but I went to a town that was like 20k population uh, for high school. I lived in the dorms my freshman year. They actually had they actually had like for a school that only had about 200 students, they had an international program. Um, and so I lived in the dorms. My roommate was from Thailand, for instance. There was a bunch of people from Korea, Mexico, China. Um, the school I went to, or like. Uh, before that, like the middle school had about 60 students total, and I think my graduating class of eighth of eighth graders had six or seven people in it, uh, and then my class in high school had about 40, 50 people. Uh, and originally it was just a high school, but the year that I was a freshman, they added junior high, so it was a junior high and high school. Uh, then I graduated in 2016. Despite all my best efforts to not graduate. <laughs> Boy, howdy, did I try to not graduate. Let me tell you what. Uh, but that was also a Catholic school. And then I went to a public university for the couple of years of college that I did. But yeah, preschool through high school, I did entirely private Catholic schools. So my experience is... A little tainted, to say the least. Uh, these motherfuckers. Fuck, I guess I haven't eaten since like 11. This was probably a bad time to stream before eating, but that's my fault. I needed to take a nap. It took like a couple hour nap. You can probably still hear it in my voice. My voice is a little. My voice is a little bleh. Woke up like half an hour ago and I was like, oh, I need to play Paper Mario now! Because I didn't play yesterday! Wow, that was super late. Holy shit. Graduating 2018, gotcha. <laughs> Mr. Elmeister, you cannot drink yet, huh? Good for you. Oh, I was about to say, is he gonna come at me? Weird. Let's see. Okay, power smash him to death. Murder! Why do I feel like... I always feel like the uh, Hyperclefts have way more defense. They actually only have one more defense. They have three as opposed to two, I guess. Oh, you're 21. Oh, sorry. You said you were two years younger than me, so I just assumed. But I guess I'm... I'm, I'm actually just almost 23, so... That... Ugh, I guess that actually just checks out. Sorry, I'm like I said, I'm a little groggy, so I'm just like half thinking about things. Oh, in August, that's right. Yeah, no, I remember I remember you you're talking about your birthday then. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I just hear two years younger, and I'm like, oh, 22 minus 2 is 20. I'm a smart boy. I can do basic math. Woo! Hello, Mega Cringe. Hello, Ultra Cringe. How are you tonight? Did you do any Thanksgiving things, Monsieur Alex? You're making mods for Smash? I suppose that is something you can do on Thanksgiving. So that that fulfills my question. You're doing it on Saturday? Oh, how, how many family members are you doing? Is it about to get super cringe at your house? Unsure? Ooh. Yeah, you hate to hear it. You really do. Not what you like to hear. Uh, 
Oh, get fucked. Eat a bucket. I was about to say optimal, and then I fucked it up anyways. Nice. <laughs> Mungus was slayed on Sunday? Uh, maybe, but probably not. I've been super lazy about Uber Eatsing, and I, I, I ate out a little bit, which I shouldn't have done. So for the next three days, I'm gonna have to like, do a bunch of Uber Eats stuff to make sure I can pay rent this month. Uh, we'll have to see based on the timing and, you know, how busy I end up being that day. But I'm gonna be driving like, all day probably. After I get done with this stream, I'm gonna have to drive too. I've been super lazy this month just because I've been in the mindset of like, all I need to do is make rent, and that really doesn't take that long. So I don't need to do it like every day, but I really should do it every day, anyways. You know, we'll see. Let me know what time, and I'll let you know if I can or not. Oh, come here, you spider boy. Oh, nope. We must do battle. This is how spider boy becomes spider man. If he could defeat me, he gets the title of spider man. If not, he will forever remain spider boy. And also he'll be dead, but like, mostly the first thing, really. The whole death thing is, you know, secondary to the title of spider man. I don't know why I'm super guarding that. Gotta get in the, the, the Thanksgiving super guard spirit. Okay, well now I'm missing the super guard, so I'll just chill out for a second. Jeez Louise. Ugh. I'm not gonna level up for a while, so I'm gonna need to do this anyways. Greetings, Gibble! Hello! I, I have a feeling that you were the first person baited by my, uh, my, my opinion on Twitter. Either that or you just actually showed up, but I, I, I feel like regardless, you were the first per- I just want you to know you were the first person I thought of when I sent that tweet, okay? Shit, wait, what was it? Oh no. I just want you to know you were the first person I thought of, and it's not about- it's, it's not about me actively hating on the game, okay? It's purely to farm interactions on Twitter.com and bring people here to get mad at me, okay? Don't- don't hate me for what I wrote. Don't don't hate me for what I wrote. All right, I'm I'm just playing I'm just playing the Twitter game, trying to piss people off on Thanksgiving so that they'll pop into the stream, tell me I'm dumb, and boost my average viewership slightly. All right, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> Gable, no, listen, listen. Like I said, you were the first person I thought of when I was writing that tweet. Okay, it was the only opinion I could think of in the moment that would really get some people going. Okay, it's not about you gotta think. You gotta think bigger picture here. All right. You gotta think bigger picture. Yeah, cause you guys actually just like follow the stream and come in here, which I super appreciate. I don't think I actually. I don't think I actually get very many views from Twitter, but I just post it there anyways. Cause some of my IRL friends will pop in here for a little bit if I post it on Twitter. So, you know. Mostly because I, I think it's mostly because I, I'm in a I know people that don't retweet jack shit. So anytime I tweet anything, especially stream stuff, nobody like likes or retweets it, so it never actually goes anywhere. <laughs> it's not an attack on mystery I would never attack Mystery Dungeon and you know this, okay? Yeah. 
Wait, so... Wait, so Mystery Dungeon isn't in your top three? Mystery Dungeon's below... Wait, so Mystery Dungeon's below Hollow Knight for you, but you would be less okay if I attacked Mystery Dungeon. Wait a minute. I don't actually understand that. Hold up, explain. Is literally number four. Okay. I cried today. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Who made you cry? I will fucking end them. I will fucking end them. And if you say it was me for the Hollow Knight opinion, I will, I will do it right now. A Madeline recolor for Palutena? Interesting. Yeah, I'll take a look at that in a second. Let me finish this battle. Grab all the coins and shit. A mushroom bingo saved me up in the sweet dream. Reach Primal Dialga and end him over his theme. Ah, oh no, you literally... First of all, yes I can. I can end Prime. I will end Dialga, okay? Hair color, hair color kind of nice. Is there a reason you chose Palutena? I'm trying to think if there's another character that that would work with. I will fucking end him! He made you cry, I will end him! We must protect the Gibble at all costs. You know this. He's a fucking god. I've killed him at least 20 times and captured him in another game, probably even more. So like, I'm not, I'm not too afraid to be completely honest with you. I catch him in a netball in Pokemon Platinum and then I name him Poop. I've already named him Poop in a randomizer I've done in Platinum, okay? Like I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna end this man's whole career. Going to Ice Climbers for both variations of the red and pink hair. I feel like Ice Climbers doesn't work just because they've got the parkas on. So like... But that is like... Uh, are there any other like small girls? There's Isabel, but she's a dog, so that doesn't work. Pyre, are you Arceus? No, I'm just a 10-year-old with way too much time on his hands. Hey, Lawless, how you doing tonight, homie? Parkas looks slightly more like... Yeah, because she does. Cause she wears a hoodie, but like... But like, the thing is, they've got the hood on, so you don't... The hair is also a really important part. I don't know, it's kind of hard. There's not really a character that fits it all that well. I'ma end this whole man's career. Wheezes. <laughs> God damn it! Why do I? Th why did I think that was going to Gumbella? How? I'm doing pretty good. No Thanksgiving this year, so playing some Paper Mario instead. Ugh. I know at the very least, uh, if they were to do like a costume for Madeline and Smash, I would be, I would be totally down for a me brawler costume. Although I have no idea what like the Madeline move set would be at all. But it'd still be sick. I ate ham. The bread with butter was better. I don't like ham all that much. I don't like pork outside of sausage. I think sausage is alright. I don't like bacon that much. And... I don't know what it is about ham, but I really just don't like ham. Playing some Ark? Ah, oh, okay. I like turkey. 
I don't know why everybody complains about turkey. I think their family just sucks ass at making turkey. Like, everybody's like, oh, it's just wet ass, wet ass meat. Like, have you tried seasoning your turkey ever? Like, what do you. Also, my turkey I've had has been more on the drier side. Like, I don't know who's getting absolutely drenched turkey. Also, my family makes, like, um, they make, like, buffalo turkey for Thanksgiving, which is, mm, super good. Like, just season or put sauce on your fucking turkey. Why do you guys eat the shittiest turkey every year? I don't understand why people do this to themselves. Also, I forgot we got past 20, so I need to put fire driven. I feel like you just use as many, as many, like, um, as many, like, dashes or movement type of moves. Like, you'd have flip kick. I feel like it'd be flip kick, maybe, like, burning drop kick, um... There's not really one for neutral B. So I don't even know about that, like... Thrupper would be the up B. I, I'm, I'm confident in that one, at least. But, like, it just doesn't... I don't know. She doesn't really have a moveset, is the thing. Oh, wow, Fireflower. Cool. You must be so fun at parties, brother. Hey, Jojo, how you doing tonight, homie? What do be poppin' with you do? I need to fix the damage he did with this stupid ass fire flower. Already did it over Byleth? Why would you pick the slowest female character you can find for Salat, for, for Madeline? The main character in a game that is specifically about movement! God, people. You know, I think Byleth is an alright character. Like, 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 she's decently fun to play sometimes. But Byleth's stands are annoying as fuck. Holy shit. My god. Like, Byleth is the last character I would have picked, period. I would have picked every other character before Byleth, including male characters. I wouldn't, I mean, would it, obviously I wouldn't actually pick a male character because that's fucked up in context. Like, it looks good, but like, thematically, why would you pick Byleth? Like, come on, come on. Come on. Oh boy, I can't wait to slowly kill El Spiky Goomba. Oh my god, I'm already getting hungry, dude! I did not think this through. Last time I ate was at like 11, and then I chilled until like three, and then I took a nap. And now I'm hungry, because I forgot to eat before stream. Any, any fooders in chat? Any fooders in chat? I figured that I, I influenced you in at least some way, which I appreciate. I still have I still have Madeline sitting on my little uh my little the thing right right here. You can't really see it very well, but the little there's just a little uh there's a little dresser right there. I just have her sitting over on the dresser. You found out there's a badge cap? Yeah, you can only get 99 BP. I 
I've personally never reached it, uh, but I was made aware of it because I did impossible mode a while back. And if you max out your BP, you're forced to level up HP or FP, and that's against the rules in impossible mode, so I had to make sure I didn't level up too much. I don't think it ended up becoming an issue, but it was it was still it was still something I had to pay attention to. Oh, the amount of badges you could have in your badge inventory? There's a max to that? I did not know that. Is it just... Well, I guess it's not that because, like... I was about to say, is it just the amount of badges in the game? But you can purchase badges, like... You can purchase as many badges from the, uh... Um... The Pianta Parlor. So technically, there are infinite of badges available. So that's just wrong right off the bat. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Because I always see people doing, like, a bunch of, like, randomizer shit or whatever, and they'll just have... S they'll, they'll get so many badges... And so I just assume that there's no cap on it. Oh my god, thank you. Although I guess that could have something to do with just somebody modding it. So I guess I'm not really certain. Never been something that's really come up. I'm also hoping that this will go at least a little bit faster today since, you know, we got one mover on the run two days ago. Um, and it was quite literally on floor 94. We went 93 floors moverless. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to, like, go a little bit faster tonight. Maybe, just maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm personally very hopeful. Oh, hello, Babomb. All right, I asked. I asked when I had like two people in chat, so I'll ask now that there's more people here. Do you guys do? Oh fuck! Actually, wait. Do you, do you guys do uh, Thanksgiving lunch or Thanksgiving dinner, or do you mix it up, or is it dependent on like which side of the family? If you have multiple, yada yada. But I need to know. I need to know if my family's super weird for doing Thanksgiving lunch or not. Dependent. Okay. Dinner almost always. Because obviously, I think dinner's still the most common, but. You know, not a single particle from that angle actually hit us, by the way. I'm just going to throw that one out there. Don't know how I got hit by that or took any damage at all, but... Sure game. Sure game. Fire flower animation literally doesn't even hit me. Pfft. Disappointing Nintendo 0 out of 10 game. Unrealistic fire flower graphics. God, I have got the worst hiccups tonight. Oh, God, wait. Nothing's going to be open if I try to, like, order food, is it? Oh, no. Well, I know Matt's home. Oh, dear fucking God. First of all, I work for Uber Eats, not Grubhub. So I resent that. S 
second of all, my whole problem is I'm midstream. So picking up myself doesn't solve the problem, Alex! That doesn't solve anything! It just costs me extra money! <laughs> you absolute bastard. Let's go for fire drive and eat the sleepy sheep. But I think I could just fire drive and be okay anyways, to be completely honest. Okay, well, I want the first strike. Uh, so. so, we're going to reset this one more time. Yeah, I think Fire Drive is actually just fine here. It's not a big whoop. Because this will one-shot him. <laughs> 200 badges. That is a lot of badges, though. That's a decent chunk of badges. Yeah, okay, Sleepy Sheep. Because he took three damage, he took four. So the back one dies. The front bandit dies next turn. So even if I don't wake up, he won't be able to do anything. Oh, the boost being nice. Oh, he didn't even steal anything anyways. <laughs> Moron. We're going to win this battle snoozing is what's going to happen right here. Although it was kind of scary the fact that Goombella didn't wake up t after getting hit two turns in a row. Uh, definitely could have could have just died there. If I didn't count the damage right. But he was guaranteed to die, so it didn't matter. Since I hit the first super guard. Oh, actually, you know what? Since since there's people here, I almost forgot. I almost forgot about this. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask when War Spy got here because he's also generally good at these kind of ideas. But Jojo, you at least stream, so like you could help me out. So I'm trying to like. Co I'm trying to like come up with a fun thing like a fun pit thing to do because all I ever do is like pit challenges right and I'll still do it in a challenge run format for the sake of the pit not being baby mode easy free right but what I wanted to do is I wanted to do like um like a um, media share pit run like I do a PHP or a prologue pit something like that something that's not like like, if I do a regular prologue pit, I'm going to win it. Like, something that I'm guaranteed to win, but, like, not something that's, like, post-game that I could get done really fast. I wanted to do, like, a media share pit run. And, like, a like a like if, if I laugh, I have to restart the pit run kind of thing. Um, but the problem is... I don't want it to be based on donations because nobody's going to donate money to me anyways. And also, I think it's just fucking grubby as shit, in my own personal opinion, to do something like that. Um, but Media Share only works through donations. I can't find a way to make it work through something like channel points. Because if I could do it through channel points and do like, what, like 5, 10 channel points per second of video or whatever, that would be the best case scenario. Um, and I don't even know how to really do it for free outside of... I don't know if you could just set it to 0 cents per second. I don't know if that's a thing you could do. I haven't messed around with it too much. Um, but setting it like that also, I feel like there would be just like a shit ton of videos coming in constantly that would be absolute dog. So, like, the channel points would at least be some way to balance it out, with the exception of War Spy, obviously. Um, so I don't know if anybody knows of a way that I can do something like that. Like a, a channel points media share thing.
the the main thing about the media share is the fact that you can like time stamp it and set how long you want the video to play as opposed to people just sharing like full videos to me Also if people just share me videos then I have to like have a separate uh, source and OBS set up for a video and that's that sounds like a pain in the ass while I'm also trying to do a run wait you don't have ch is channel points not for everybody is channel points an affiliate only thing because I know that because I know that um the official me like media share from Streamlabs is specifically donation only. I've I've poked around with it. I think Stream Elements might have something, but I don't use Stream Elements. So if it's my only option, I'd have to like go over there and figure out how to use that. Okay. Not the best dad in the world. Not gonna lie. But hey, if we could skip two floors... I guess we could skip two floors, whatever. I can't skip over this because Zap Tap is a super important badge. For at least a couple of floors that we could run into later, I have to have Zap Tap. Regardless, skipping over Zap Tap isn't worth, you know, like, the, th the two floors that I would get to skip because of it. Even if for some reason I was willing to skip it. Just because it's like 30s and 20s floors. Wow, super cool. So glad I skipped those. Those are difficult. Haha. -ha. I don't know. I think that'd be a kind of fun thing because I see people doing things like. Like, if I laugh, I restart. They're trying to, like, beat Minecraft or do other things like that. I think a pit run would be a pretty funny thing to do that with. Like I said, like, a regular prologue pit or, like, a, a, a PHP. Or maybe, like, a post-game level zero pit. Something like that. Uh, because after I end up beating level one prologue pit, I'll be doing Master Quest for a while. And knowing me, I'm going to want to have at least something that I can do in between it. As opposed to just grinding that that out every single time I stream. So that could be a fun side thing. But yeah, the, the donate like money donations to do media share kind of dog. I don't really give a shit about that or want to do it. So... <laughs> Media share is one of the most used things for, you know, media sharing. So I'm really surprised that they don't have more settings like that. Oh, wow. This is bad. That's not the greatest. Uh, if this thing hits me, I could just die. If I die to a hypercleft, I will be omega sad. Cool. Cool. Yeah, and he did use it. Oh, this guy's being nice and not charging up at all. Very cool of him to do that thing he's doing. Also, uh, I've noticed this meme going around, and I don't know where it came from. I'm assuming you guys have seen the fine. Like, I just see, I just see this, a bunch of different like pictures or videos of characters saying, "Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here." Does anybody know where that came from? Anybody want to inform me on that one? Cause I am lost. It's funny as shit. I think it's funny as fuck. But I don't know where it came from, so I need the information on that. Let 
mess with that to maybe make it free and set parameters for minimum to share max duration buffer time and spam secure oh okay the spam security stuff gotcha so I'll just have to mess around with that I appreciate you getting me that info though Yeah, if there is a way that I can at least uh, set it so that people are going, like, insanely crazy on it, that would be nice. That was my only thing about, like, like if I could set up for channel points, it'd at least be something that could limit some people. Obviously, like I said, War Spy wouldn't be limited because he's War Spy, but, you know. But, uh, if I can limit people spamming shit, that'd actually be really nice. I saw that there was like a spam protection option, but most options like that tend to be garbage, so I didn't really look too much into it. But if it's decent, if you vouch for it, I will try it out. It just had the main character. F oh, it's a kill a kill meme? Oh, fuck yeah. I love kill a kill. That's Pog. Yes, you are, my little pog champ. Come here. Please tell me, please tell me that, like, please tell me that, that, like, she's saying that to Mako because that would be the most adorable shit ever. I would love, it's my new favorite, it's my new favorite meme if she's saying it to Mako. That's all, that's all I'll say. All right. Come here. Yeah, I've, seen, I've been seeing that shit fucking everywhere. And it is funny. It just like... It seems so random. So I recently um, finished the, like, I don't know if there's more story portion to it, like if I beat it more or whatever, uh, but I at least, like, finished the main story for Hades, and that game is just so good. Just so good. I don't know if any of you guys have been playing Hades, but uh, I've been enjoying it thoroughly. Oh, fine, I guess you are my little pod champ. Come here. Wait, that's the original? Cause that ending sucks ass. I'm broke, no. Rib. You do infinite pit and have chat pull for the rules. Uh, I don't think infinite pit's bad for that. I guess yeah, I could do inf. That's true. I could just do infinite pit floor 100 and then like reset. Yeah, I was gonna say I could just do like a challenge run in vanilla, but infinite pit actually just works really, really well for that. Now that now that you're mentioning it, there's no reason I shouldn't just do infinite pit. It saves me setup time too. Oh, okay, gotcha. I was gonna say if that end part is part of it, I no longer like that meme. Like that's actually that that end is cringe as fuck. I hate it. Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. <laughs> that shit that's just funny. <laughs> I like that a lot. Hey, Rocky! We were just talking about you being our little pog champ. Come get your fucking hat, dude. You said you were gonna get your hat. My hat! 
Come get your hat, dude! It's sitting in my car, it misses you! Every day I get in my car to deliver Uber Eats and I just hear a sad waka waka in the back of my vehicle and I know it's your hat missing you. It has been over a year. Your hat has never left my car. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's it's a holy ground at this point. If I move it I would be desecrating the land. Oh, is that part of the prophecy? Is that like... Is that like revelations in the Bible come to fruition? Is you picking up your fucking hat? You know... I'm paraphrasing, of course. You know, there's also, like, the post-apocalyptic shit, but the most important part is that, you know, when Jesus comes back to Earth, he grabs his fucking hat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I still have fire drive. For some reason, I thought I had... God damn it, I'm stupid. I feel dumb and stupid. Oh, he didn't charge up a single time. Thank you. That could have taken much longer than it needed to. Uh, you know me. Just fire driving to flex on him. They wish they had FP like me. Oh wait, no, never mind. I can skip over this because pity. F oh yeah, because pity flower is dog shit. No, we can just skip pog. I was about to say if it's floor thirty six, I'm gonna lose my mind, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God, what food place is it even gonna be open at this point? I need to get food, and I don't have twenty minutes. I don't have 15 minutes to make fucking mac and cheese while stream waits for me. This is a conundrum to say the least. Mac and cheese. IRL cooking stream? IRL cooking stream? He hasn't actually powered up at all yet. Just a bit of defense, which is useless against me. Muda, muda, muda. Useless, useless, useless. Is that how he says it in the funny anime? The Jojos? The Jajadujadijadus? Never watched that show. Probably am not going to watch that show. It doesn't really interest me that much, if I'm being honest. But I know it's funny JoJo's, funny haha, -ha, funny JoJo's, JoJo Puff, JoJo's. Is that name a JoJo's reference, JoJo? Whoa! I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm in a hunger pang induced. Oh my fucking. Wait, they'll. They do two per. Never mind, I guess it doesn't matter. We're all good. Mario will survive. Mario will survive. They only do two each.
checking up to the right. There, left. Looking right because you left, left me, left me alone. Looking up because you let me down. Are the bulky bombs just like angsty teenagers on Facebook in 2008? Is that what they are? Oh, is it looking right because you left me? Oh, I guess that makes more sense. I don't know, sorry. I'm not 12, so I wouldn't know. That's my bad. I'll I'll uh I'll practice up for next time. Promise. Looking left because you ain't treating me right. I I think I think one of them is looking up because you let me down or something. I want to say the other one's looking down because you don't hit me up, but that just does not sound right at all. So I, I don't think that's it. Looking down, cause bitch you got me fucked up. Anybody done that one? That seems like it would be funny, haha. -ha. Um, let's see. And then... Ugh, knock you down a peg. Some mushrooms. I wasn't counting. Yes, it's everyone. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh wow, that was really. God, why do these things do four damage? Yuck, you gross. Am I right, gamers? <laughs> Oh, Mario, the backflip, man. Big backflip, Mario, man. Big backflip, Mario, man. Have big backflip, man. There's more than one gamer who's this twin. Okay, I get it. We got a wise guy here. We got a wise guy. That's fine. Thinks he's all cool. Cause he made a funny haha. -ha. I missed one. So anyways, Jojo, when are you doing level one prologue, Pit Dog? The world's waiting. There's already at least 20 people on the leaderboards for it. You should get going. to get through 10,000 floors of it. Ah, uh, come on. Do a prologue pit for the boys. For the boys. <laughs> There's already like 50,000 clears of level one prologue pit. So you got to get on it. Honestly, it's embarrassing. 
if, if you haven't completed it by now. You're kind of a disgrace to, to Paper Mario if you haven't already done a level 1 prologue pit. It's the, it's the... It's the hot new thing. All the kids are doing it, you know? God. I hate it. I... Okay, okay, I might try it sometime. I'm just fucking with you, in case that was not obvious. I am literally the only person that's ever completed this, and for some reason I'm doing it a second time. Which is insanely stupid. Don't necessarily recommend level 1 prologue pit. I'll, I'll say that much. <laughs> Let me find the one second. Let me find the let me find the the wiki page for it again because it always it always makes me laugh. Uh, this shit, this shit, this shit cracks me up every single time I read it. Might make the counter to the Madeline Palo and make Battle in Palo. <laughs> As of today and possibly until the end of time. Level one that shit makes me laugh every single I love it. I love it so much. He added that he added that impossibly till the end of time just for me. He didn't have to, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I think a regular prologue pit's pretty fun. Uh, 10 HP prologue pit... Uh, before I started doing challenge runs, I know that 10 HP prologue pit uh, was considered to be probably like the hardest challenge run that people could do. And Cappy had been the first one to complete it. So we've, we've come a long way. And when I say that, I mean that I, I've now done 10 HP Prologue Pit uh, with no life shrooms. <laughs> Just because we wanted to see if I could. <laughs> so so now level 1 Prologue Pit, level 0 Prologue Pit, all the, you know, all the fun ones. We've pushed it a little bit too far, if I'm being honest. Paper Mario Challenge Runners continue to ask if they could, not if they should. The only reason that wiki page exists is because I was dumb enough to do it in the first place. Did I change my badges? I didn't change my badge. I'm dumb. Every time I do a super dumb challenge, it forces... It forces... Uh, you know, Coop or whoever's doing the entries to make a dumbass page just for it. Got a, got on a wiki page. Yeah, I've, I've got on all the... Most of the pit runs. Except for the ones that we've deemed too easy for me to actually just do on stream at this point. Because it would be boring. No, I did do like a PHP and a disabled pit. Actually, are there any that I... Are there any like easy pit runs that I just decided not to do? I don't really know. I think I actually did do... Maybe like... I think I did some of them like in conjunction with each other. Like BP only obviously would have been a waste of time. Um... But I think I just counted it when I did, like, 
Level zero scavengers? I don't even remember. Nice. Although I'm pretty sure they also made a rule against doing stuff like that, so honestly I couldn't tell you. Yeah, if you go to the um, if you go to the impossible mode entry in the challenge run uh, section, um, I haven't done Shadow Queen, nor am I, nor would I be the first person to do Shadow Queen. I think two people have done Shadow Queen. I heard a little while ago that somebody actually did Shadow Queen after Fat Guy had been the only one to do it for the longest time. Um. But they also have a leaderboard for the uh, Impossible Pit, and uh, I've actually gotten the Floor 99 Impossible Pit. The only reason it's not Bone Tail is because Bone Tail has too much RNG to be actually considered doable. So I just I just safe stated and did Bone Tail separately to prove that I could do it with the right RNG. But they've actually got a leaderboard for everybody's like high score on Impossible Pit, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Because actually doing Floor 99 Impossible Pit's fucking stupid. Like, it's really dumb. Wow, I'm being super late on that. Jesus. Rain's the other person got it. Rain just did that like a few months ago, I think. Like that was really recent. But Fat Guy's original completion of that was back um, when he originally did Impossible Mode, because he was the one that he was the one that like created and came up with the idea for po Impossible Mode. Do I have? I have the wrong badge. Though. Impossible Mode Shadow Queen is riddled with an insane amount of RNG. Um, and I'm still not very good at, I, I was never really good at the Shadow Queen Super Guards. So, I did, I, I've done a lot of attempts on it, but it's frustrated the shit out of me. I probably could do it if I went back to grinding it again someday. The Lord knows that I am a lazy motherfucker, and that fight is really terrible and obnoxious. Like, ridiculously obnoxious. And I deal with Bone Tail's bites all the fucking time. Yeah, because because it's also got that god like especially because like I play on an emulator so I can speed it up if I want. But like that that cut scene. The first portion of the fight isn't even that bad. But not only do you have a stupid ass cutscene, um, but <sighs> the second half of the fight is the most bullshit. Because the end super guardables can almost like one shot you. The breath might as well be an unsuper guardable with how fucking hard it is to do. Like the cue for that is ins I like I I still don't really have a good cue for it. It's so hard. That fight is like everything I would hate about a super guarding challenge in one boss fight. It is the worst. The only decent thing about that fight is that at the beginning of the second phase you get a guaranteed shine bingo. But like 
it really... It really doesn't make that much of a difference. It really doesn't. Hey, Lenny, happy happy Thanksgiving to you as well, sir. Or happy holidays, I, I, I don't know. And a gamer dog. Japeth, I haven't checked my phone since I started stream. Did you guys actually have Thanksgiving? Can you play an ad? Sorry, I only do that for people that donate. Thank you. Maybe we'll play an ad in a bit. Play your cards right and I'll give you an ad, okay? If you're a good little boy, I'll give you a Thanksgiving treat. Asking for money for weird. Just because you used four weird, I'm not running an ad. We use weird champs in this household, thank you very much. Oh, I asked, uh, did you guys, did you and Jagger still go to Grandma Ginger's Thanksgiving? Did she still have it? Because, uh, like I said, I knew Mom told me that you guys weren't doing uh, Grandma Nita's, at the very least. Oh, you didn't? I am pleasantly surprised. Oh, you went to Dad's. Got it. Like, everybody went to Dad's, or just like you and Jagger? Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's not as bad as I expected from Dad's side of the family. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I expected them to still hold everything, to be honest. Why do I always get this floor, man? I swear I always get it. This floor cost me a life shroom really early on in that last run we did two days ago, so. Imagine not having to see anyone in your family for Thanksgiving. Lenny, did you did you go home for Thanksgiving? Lenny. Lenny, why would you do that? Or not Lenny, sorry, Rocky. Why did I read that as Lenny's name? That was so weird. I like fully fucked up. Rocky, why did you? Japeth is spamming this link in Discord. Looks kind of bad. Japeth, are you spamming my stream in Discord? What? What are you doing? Every day this week, I'm in KC, gotcha. Also, you're doing it in zeros? What? Excuse me? Jay, but do I need to be concerned? Uh, I did not mean nerdy, which is crazy, because normally I mean nerdy. Lenny? You, you, you doing alright? Yeah? Yeah? 
loser stepbrother is having a second kid with a different one. Oh, gross. Oh, God, that sounds terrible. I'm so sorry for your loss. But I have organic growth. Well, let's calm down now. I mean, I'm, I'm all... I'm all for advertisement, you know? I just want to make sure he's not advertising in, uh, inappropriately, you know what I'm saying? I mean, advertisements, I, I, let's let's chill here, you know, any exposure is good exposure, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I was mostly concerned about the fact that you said Zero's Discord. Like, that's not... That 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 immediately raises red flags. <laughs> that sounds very weird. I'm sure it's not... It's not what I immediately thought of, but I can't... I can't help but think of that nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, Japheth knows what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, Japeth. Japeth, you're here, so I wanted to run an idea by you. Because you'll be, you'll tell me if it's cringe or not. I mean, I'm going to do it anyways, but I think it'd be funny if you hated it and I did it, so. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, happy Thanksgiving, homie. Hope everything's going well. Hope your family doesn't get COVID. Fuck this bandit. Uh... So, I, so, so, uh, I was going, I'm, I, I want to do a, uh, media share stream. Uh, of uh, of infinite pit, like I need to get to like floor 100 or whatever. And if I laugh, I have to restart. Okay, it's cringe. Good, so I'm gonna do it then. 10, 12. Um. Uh, here's hoping. Okay, thank God. Jojo with the smile. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Knowing the people that watch me, you guys aren't going to be funny at all, but, you know. You got to work with what you got to work with, you know what I'm saying? Actually, to be honest, as long as I ban Japeth from sending any videos, it should be fine. The rest of you are probably decently funny. I'll play my diss track. To be fair, that is probably the only thing you would send that could make me laugh because of how fucking bad it is. <laughs> so I'll give you credit on that one, at least. Gibble is back from her walk. Pog you. I was watching somebody else do like a Minecraft playthrough and they're like, yeah, laugh, restart, yada yada. And they played the, somebody sent the fucking, uh, the anime girl Reznov meme. Like, hello, sleepyhead. Who are you? <laughs> Wake up! Where am I? You're so cute when you're sleeping. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> that fucking that video gets me every single time. I love that video. I love it so much. You're so cute when you're sleeping. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's just one poison puff that's not bad. Er, one ice puff that's not bad. Um. Um. 
So what I'm being told, so so the the thing that you see bigger streamers do is they have the donation based thing and it's a media share. Uh, but my good friend Jojo here has informed me that you can actually set set the donation to like zero cents per second, so you can make it free. I wanted to do it based off like channel points or something, but we could just make it free apparently, and then I could just use some like apparently there's some like spam pro spam detection like spam protection shit. Like I could set up my own settings, uh, so it'll be free. I'm not gonna fucking set it behind a dono wall when I have five viewers at a time. That'd just be dumb. Plus, I think to be fair, I, I also think that like I think media share stuff is really really cool, uh, but I also think that doing like you laugh you lose stuff or like stuff like that behind donations uh, is also fucking cringe because of the amount of like like the only people that make that actually like get people to do that are people with a decent viewership that already make a bunch of money off of it anyways and like it is just such an easy way to scam money out of people I feel like when you could just do that shit for free and get the same content like that is just so much money Free bits from ads. You can't do it with bit. Can you can you set it up with bits? I'm pretty sure it has to just be straight up donations. You're gonna have to pay up. Exactly. I think the only problem with doing it, like at this point in time, is the fact that like. Media share stuff is also, like, one of the most important things about media share stuff is having, like, a mod look through all the videos beforehand to make sure there isn't any, like, random, like, TOS or, like, DMCA shit in it. Um, but I trust you guys, so I don't really give a shit about that, to be completely honest. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think bits work on media share. I think it has to be straight up donations. I'd have to check it again, but I know it at least has to be tied to some form of some form of payment. Uh, although, again, apparently you can just set it to be completely free. So that doesn't matter too much. True, Alex. Honestly, true. I didn't think about it that way. that are and aren't TOS friendly. I mean, generally it'd be YouTube links. So if it's allowed on YouTube, it, it'll probably be allowed on a, uh, it, it'll be allowed on fucking Twitch, right? Um, four, five, five. Um, the main thing is like, I could get DMCA'd off of some random music in a, in a video, which is the only thing I'm, like, actually slightly worried about. But, uh... It probably won't end up being too big of an issue, regardless. Slurs, yeah. Like, I, I get the slurs thing. Like, I would definitely prefer if we kept most slurs out of it. But Lenny, for you, for instance, I trust your judgment, right? Like, cussing is fine, but don't don't use literal slurs. Keep, keep that away from the stream. That would be much appreciated, right? The only reason I think there would actually be an issue is if some rando popped in and started sending a really dumb video, but I could just shut that down if I'm fast enough, so. But I don't really think there's many random trolls that are coming to Paper Mario streams. Oh my god, Jojo! You're still researching for me, holy shit, what a legend. Okay, uh, using CloudBot, enable. Okay. Did I switch my badges?
Why does that still strike me first? But funny enough, I actually get more damage off of letting that happen. Six. Been searching for a bit. Well, I appreciate that. I thought you stopped searching a while ago, honestly. So I, 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 I thank you very much for that. That is some good ass information. Oh wow! I fucked that Omega hard. All right. Anyways. A real homie. Real homie does research for his other homies. That's real shit right there. Get you a man who can research like JoJo can. Okay, so he should be at 3 HP. No, he was it too. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't count a Super Guard in there. I figured I might have missed one. Talk about the Pog Hippo. Pog Hippo? Hippogdon? Or is Pog Hippo something I'm unaware of? Ooh. I was gonna say I did. I was on floor 50. For some reason, for some reason, I had it in my mind that I skipped floor 50 and I had a panic attack. Know the hippo from Gen 4? Yeah, yeah, Hippodon. Hippopotus and Hippodon. Pog Hippo. Pog Hippo. You know, I've never really thought of. I, I never really thought of Hippodon as pogging, but honestly, I could see it. It might be a bit of a stretch, but I get it. Hippogdon. Uh, seven Thunder Rages. It's pretty good. Okay. Alright, well we're on... We're on to the 60s much faster because I actually got a decent chunk of... A decent chunk of, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? A decent chunk of, <laughs> movers. Movers is the word that I was thinking of, if anybody was wondering. <laughs> Still on the Piplup? I mean, it's a 1 in 8200, 1 in 81, Like, it, it'll take you a bit. I'm so used to shiny hunting with 1 in 5 12 odds, I can't imagine doing a full fucking 1 in 8,000 shiny hunt. It just sounds terrible to me. So I knocked him down to 9, 5... Oh, you just had to wake up, didn't you? Oh my god, 1 HP. Where can you get 512 odds? Um, in later gens, like, Masuda Method plus Shiny Charm is like 1 in 512. One nine thirteen. Uh -huh. 
Shiny Charm in Gen 5. Gen 5 was the last gen to have full 1 in 80, 192. Um, and the Shiny Charm takes your regular Shiny chances and divides it by 3. So it'd be 8192 divided by 3, which would be about 1 in 2730. Yeah, for just straight up wild. Then again, there's also obviously still like Masuda method and other shiny hunting methods, but that's just for like base. Uh, shiny charm just takes the odds and divides it by three for the most part. Although when mixed with methods like Masuda, it goes down to one in 512 as opposed to like an exact division by three, which is kind of weird. I don't really get how the Pokemon company decides it, but you know, they can do whatever they want. One in five twelve is exactly one eighth of the one in forty ninety six that they had it in, that they put in Gen six. So I mean, I, I at least understand where the number comes from. What with Masuda method, you mean? Also, hey, Cat, I have not said hi to you tonight. How are you doing? How are you doing? How's Thanksgiving? Or are you non-American? In which case, you don't celebrate, you know, the genocide of native people. You know, we're America. We're just kind of quirky like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, never mind. You being in front doesn't matter. Colonization! Surely this will... Happy Turkey Day, Mr. Seth! How are you on this fine evening? Did you already have your Thanksgiving lunch uh, and or dinner? Hey, my grandpa's burnt pie like a true American, a real red blooded American. Oh, thank the fucking lord. Oh, that's pretty nice. Under 100 resets in black and white too? Fuck yeah. Take that to the bank, baby. Um... I've gotten a couple of shiny legendaries. I got a shiny Terrakion. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones I've gotten in the past. Did most of the hunting in Horaz. I can't remember the other ones, but I got a bunch that I, I were available in like Alpha Sapphire. Uh, I think he's dead. I completely lost track of health, but I think he might be dead. Okay. Ooh, Shiny Giratina, very nice. Oh, wow, thanks, cool. Of course he's gonna fucking... We don't carry new consoles? Oh, dear God. That would have one-shot me, so glad that I did that. I mean, you guys say torture yourselves, but in, in, in all honesty... Well, I will admit that the, uh, the shiny run... The all shiny run doesn't literally ha like translate well onto YouTube for the kind of content that he would want to like put onto YouTube. But like for a stream, 
That is the easiest stream content ever. You just sit there with your already large audience that'll just sit there and talk to you the whole time, and you just keep soft resetting. And then you get to, then you get, to, you can at least farm like, uh, you at least get to farm like shiny reactions too. Like it's so good. That is some of the easiest stream content you could do, honestly. I know for me, shiny hunting's rewarding when I end up hitting it, so like, I don't even think it's boring or anything to do. So as long as you have an audience that's willing to just sit there and chat with you while you do it, that's, that's, that is, that is easy mode right there, let me tell you what. Problem is he doesn't get much, like, actual YouTube content out of it. But, like, waiting for a shiny Tortuga. Ooh, I like shiny Tortuga. So if I remember right, Smallant got a shiny Lugia in like seven, seven soft resets. Hey, worst by with the raid. Don't you wish you had Ultra Hammer right now? Yeah, that's, that's about right. Yeah. You you picked a great moment yet again. Uh, because we're. Yeah. You picked a great moment to mention the Ultra Hammer. I'll give you that much. The frame stutter! Are you shitting me? <sighs> wow. The game stuttered, and I lost a live stream for it. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Man, I love when that happens. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I'm glad that I lost a live stream through my own accord, and there was... And you know, there was it was all my fault 100%. There was I could have stopped it easily, but I just chose not to, you know. God, that's fucking terrible. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, there's the first life shroom of the run. Whatever, I guess. No pogs. Don't pog for stuttering. Don't don't unironically pog for stuttering. How dare you? That's fucked up. I am actually hurt. Pog buff? No pog buffer! No, no pogs! I hate you. I hate you so much, cat. That's so mean of you to do that thing that you're doing right now. Why would you ever? You know how I feel about losing life shrooms. How do you think I feel when it's not my fault? Feels terrible. Reaching the 70s without any life shrooms lost, I had to step in. Yeah, last time I lost my first life shroom to like 49 or something like that. I mean, it's whatever. Uh, we came in here with eight life shrooms, so we've still got seven left. Yeah, we got seven left. We got seven thunder rages. We've already had like three movers, so it hasn't taken us too long to get to this point. Like this runs, this runs just, this runs been pretty smooth so far. So that just had to happen. What floor was that? Yeah, that was sixty-one. Yeah, that one, that one's a little upsetting, but it's whatever, I guess. Shit's gonna happen. Um, I would like to have... I would say the curse message, but I'm just fucking around, do whatever you want. It's whatever. I mean, it sucks, but I just gotta eat that. I'm not too upset about it. The buffers have been happening to me with TTYD somewhat consistently lately. Like, not a bunch, but, like, that situation's just unfortunate. Okay. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, there's one. So much damage. Uh, this time we're actually gonna go ahead and defend. Even though I should probably like peel or something. We're not in danger, so it's not like I'll get much out of it anyways. I'll just play the field. Play safe HP wise since I won't be able to sweet treat immediately after this. Just defend with Gumbella, be safe. Okay. Same attack pattern? That was the exact same attack order. The difference is that the last one hit Mario last turn. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, no, when you bingo, the same type of audience comes back anyways. It would just be Dull Bones again. At least to my knowledge. If that's if there's a mechanic there that I didn't realize, holy shit. Yeah, no, if I get a if I get a dull if I get a dry dull bones audience, you're just fucked. Like for the bone tail fight, for instance, like you're just you are screwed, my friend. Pokemon Generations ranked. Oh, I didn't do it in a stream. I just tweeted out that Gen 2 was the worst and Gen 3 was the best, but people didn't take the bait. It was unfortunate. Not that it was bait. That's my honest opinion, but you know what I mean. Um, but Generations ranked top to bottom from my experience. Um, and the only thing here that's really subject to change is the fact that I only played through Gen 1 once when I was like 15 and have it, or not Gen 1, Gen 5 once when I was 15 and I haven't played through it again. Um, this is also going with the fact that I haven't played the original Gen 1 or Gen 2, uh, so the remakes are the ones I'm going off of, uh, and that's gonna sound weird because the Gen 2 remakes are, like, much better than Gen 2, I just don't actually like Gen 2 Pokemon or, or the Gen 2 region. Uh, Gen 3, Gen 4, um... Gen 3, Gen 4... Uh, Gen... Gen 8, Gen 1, Gen 7, Gen 5, Gen 2, I think. But again, Gen 5 is very much subject to change. Well, I do not like that Thunder Rage he's got going on. I didn't like Gen 5 when I originally played it. I disliked the Pokemon a lot in Pokemon design. Pokemon design is one of the main things for me, and the Pokemon design, I hated. I absolutely hated the Pokemon in that game. Uh, the re It didn't look very good to me. The moving, like, the moving sprites, I didn't really enjoy back then. But again, I haven't played the game in a while. That, that, that is subject to change. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald? I love those games. I absolutely love those games. Almost all of the Gen 3 Pokemon are fucking amazing. I really like the region, despite people talking about low water, what the fuck ever. I really like the region. Outside of, you know, if HMs didn't exist in the way they did, uh, the region would have been even fucking better. Um, I love Team Magma, Team Aqua, Steven's sick as fuck. Uh, I really liked a lot of the gym leaders. I just really like the region. The music's also fucking great. I think Gen 3 is sick as fuck. Personally. I can't imagine that's gonna be- Oh wow, it really was enough. That's crazy. Might as well sweet treat to try and wait out his dodgy anyways.
I mean, yeah, Gen 3 was also the first Pokemon game that I ever actually completed. Yellow was the first one I played, but Gen 3 was, the, uh, Sapphire was the first one I ever completed, but like, I just think the region and the Pokemon are fucking amazing. Gen 3 had so many of my fa- So many Pokemon that are like my favorite Pokemon, like favorite design Pokemon of all time. Like I said, the Pokemon are a huge point for me. Like, I don't get the dislike on Gen 3 when there's so many amazing Pokemon. You know, the whole point of Pokemon is kind of the Pokemon, so, you know. <laughs> oh, cool, he wasted his turn, Pug. Yeah, the prologue's perfectly fine. You meet rival. You meet rival. You talk to professor. You go away now. Not to mention, like, and and this goes into talking about the Pokemon, obviously. But like, first off, can we talk about how you can get a fucking dark Pokemon in the first goddamn like route? Mighty Anna's sick as fuck. That is one of the best earth starting Pokemon you can get. Swellow's a re Swellow was the best bird Pokemon up to that point. Like, the best starting bird Pokemon. Better than Pidgeot. Way better than Fearow. Uh, way better than fucking Noctowl. Right? I even think Linoon was an alright Pokemon. Um, not only was he really useful as an HM slave and could learn a bunch of random ass moves too. Like, Thunderbolt, fucking Blizzard, like, Ice Beam shit. That's sick. That was sick even if you didn't like Zigzagoon that much. Um... But also he could get pick up, which is just a really good ability to, to have on a po like at least if you're gonna have to have an HM slave in your party, he can have pick up and you could just get a bunch of random ass items from him too. Uh, you could get Rolt super early on. You know, Shift Tree wasn't that good of a Pokemon, but I think his design was still sick. You could get a C dot and Ludicolo based on your based on um, which version you picked. Like, the early choices for Pokemon were insane. I think, I even think, like, Wurmple was a really cool Pokemon. He randomly evolved into two different sets of Pokemon, and I liked Beautifly and Dustox. You could get a really cool fighting type early on. Makuhita. You could get a fucking steel type if you tried hard enough for it. Um Trap Inch you couldn't get until post until the post fourth gym. But that meant you could have a dragon type like before the seventh like 6th, 7th gym, depending on how hard you grinded. And I fucking love Flygon. He's my favorite dragon type of all time. You could also go and... Uh, it takes a little bit longer, but like once you get Waterfall, you can also go and find a Bagon and get Salamence. There's sick-ass... Sick-ass ice types like Sfeel and Snow Run. Not to mention that despite coming out before Gen 4... And being a region that is most known for being waterlocked, you get a pretty good choice of fire type Pokemon. Because they built that into the world, even though the region was still based around water. Like you could only get a Ponyta, and then in Platinum you could get a uh, you could get a Houndour. In Gen 4. We had so many more options. Am I talking about Pokemon? Yes, you are, Pikachu. Big true. Stop worse by that. Oh, cat, you said the magic word. Oh, no. Solrock and Lunatone are pretty cool, even though they don't evolve or do anything. I still just like them as Pokemon. Zangus and Sapphiper are badass. Like, here's the thing. In Gen 2, there were so many Pokemon that didn't have evolutions that were dog shit. In Gen 3, all of the Pokemon that didn't have evolutions were badass. You got fucking, you got fucking Absol. Oh, I need to, oh shit. I need to reset. 
Which gen introduced Darkrai? That was Gen 4. Darkrai is a really good Pokemon. The problem being that it was an event Pokemon. So I never actually got it legitimately. The only time I ever got a Darkrai was when I used my action replay to walk to walk across the water and just cheat my way over to the uh, island he was on. Gen 4 is a really good... When it comes to, like, games released, not just mainline games, Gen 4 is easily the best gen. Uh, but I prefer the Gen 3 mainline games a bit more. Why Gen 2 bad? The Pokemon suck ass. The Pokemon are terrible. There's, like... Gen, Gen 2 intro... Also, the region is boring as shit. And you don't... Up until the remake, like, especially the original Gen 2, um, the Pokemon you can get are dog. They're straight up dog shit. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's 100 Pokemon introduced in Gen 2, right? I went through every single Gen 2 Pokemon the other night with my roommate, Derek, Mr. Slade, and we counted 37 straight up dog shit Pokemon out of 100. If your rate of Pokemon design or Pokemon that are just useless is fucking 37% failure? That That's an F. Like, that's a straight-up F. If your success rate is 63%, you're doing something wrong. Because it was all... It was baby Pokemon. It was Pokemon like Sneasel didn't have an evolution. He was dog shit. Dunspart, do Dunsparce, dog shit outside of the memes. Um, Smeargle was a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, at least competitive-wise. But you also didn't capture it. Like, is... <laughs> That's a D, and I don't think you know how to math. I went to a private school, and anything below a 70% was an F. Sorry, 63%, whatever. Did I not say 63%? Vampy and Dawn fan, they were trash. Like, we can go down the line. The Gen 2 Pokemon were just terrible. Like, that's just the way that it was. Sorry. I I, I don't know how, to, how else to tell you. The dogs were pretty cool. Because, uh, you know, they were legendaries. Lugia and Ho-Oh, I don't really like those legendaries very much. Outside of, like, I like Lugia, like Shadow Lugia. But that's not even mainline. Like, I don't really like those legendaries that much. Uh, Celebi's, Celebi's cool and fine. Uh, Tyranitar's fine, but that's also the pseudo-legendary. Steelix is okay. I mean, an evolution of Onix. Woot woot. If, if one of, if, if one of your, one of your claim to fame Pokemon is just an evolution of a, of a Pokemon that already existed in a different gen, it's hard to say that that gen's very good design-wise, too, honestly. I try not to look into that too much. Like, Steelix, if he's a cool Pokemon alone, he's a cool Pokemon alone. I don't really pay attention to the fact that he's an evolution. But, like, you could get into that argument, too, and it's just, ugh. Like, Gen 2 just doesn't have much going for it. The remakes helped save it a lot, but, like, it doesn't help the fact that the Pokemon still suck, and the remakes are only good because they added, they gave you more opportunities for Pokemon, and they, you know, fixed up the areas a little bit. Like, Gen 2, Gen 2 region and Gen 2 Pokemon are just bad. They're, they're just bad. Gen 6? Gen 6 pretty fucking bad. Uh, Gen 6 Pokemon aren't half bad. But, like, the region's kind of, the region's okay. It's kind of forgettable because I didn't really replay through it all that much. But zero post-game, and post-game's a really big part of my opinion on Pokemon games, too. Hence again, liking Gen 3 and Gen 4 a lot. Good rival fight music? Yeah, the music's fine. Uh, but it's hard to give a shit about the music when you can't get through the game because it's terrible. So, like, you know. When I would just, when I would just, when I would just choose to pick up Pokemon Platinum or Pokemon Emerald or any other Pokemon game instead of picking up, uh, Soul Silver, the music doesn't matter because I'm not listening to it. Because I don't want to pick up the game and play it. 
Oh, the starters also suck ass. Holy shit. I don't like any of the starters. I, I don't like any of the start. Like, some of the starters are okay, but, like, the starters are so weak. Outside of, like, Gen 5, they've got to be the weakest lineup of starters. To be fair, to be fair, Gen 5... Gen, Gen 6 had... Gen 6 had no, no post-game. Not Gen 2. Oh, the Gen 3 remakes? I love Gen 3, but Alpha Cypher and Omega Ruby are light downs. They kind of sucked. Baby mode easy, although I will say that at least, like, um... The game wasn't, like, incredibly easy if you turn the experience share off. Whereas in Gen 6, even if you didn't have the experience share on, the game was fucking easy. Like, insanely easy. Um... No Battle Frontier, the Delta episode was okay, but not a replacement for the Battle Frontier, honestly. Like, just, eh. Uh, I did do a bunch of shiny hunting in that game since it was Gen 6 shiny odds at the very least, so that was pretty fun. So I can't be too mad at that, at least. The only reason it's one of my most played Pokemon games is because of the amount of time I spent shiny hunting on it. Also, I can't believe I missed that. Getting Deox, Deoxys not being an event Pokemon was one of the big pluses of that game. Yeah. Deoxys not being an event Pokemon was pretty big. Just being able to actually catch a Deoxys. Uh, it wasn't shiny locked either, was it? I don't... Or was it? Was that Dialga shiny locked? I think the Rayquaza was shiny locked in that. I don't actually remember. Never caught a shiny before. I'm kind of sad I can't get one yet. Why can't you get one? You could always just keep doing random encounters until you find one. Even if you don't have shiny hunting methods, you can always do it. Just hope for the one in 8200. Primals were fun. Primals annoyed the shit out of me. Ugh. No games, gotcha. Um, primals annoyed me, not because I disliked Primals, um, but because Primal Dialga literally exists in a, in, in a non-mainline Pokemon game, and they didn't give the Gen 4 Pokemon Primals. You can't throw me a Primal Dialga? Like, really? Is that fucking hard? So Primals pissed me off for a very petty reason. Oh, how do I miss that super guard? That's what I get for talking while trying to super guard. What the fuck ever. Whatever. Lose another lose another life room. Oh, never mind. Apparently I just suck. Apparently I just blow ass. Apparently I just blow donkey kick and do blonk, donkey blah 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 blah. Donkey cock and ass and dick and I suck and I'm pee pee and I'm poo poo and I'm pee pee and I'm poo poo. Whatever. I. <sighs> I'm getting pissed, and I'm just not doing anything. Okay, stop. Chill for a second. Okay, let's chill, heal, reset. We're down to six life shrooms. So I need to stop playing Tilted after losing one fucking life shroom. Lack of two super guard, whatever. It's shiny locked a new Deoxys? Okay, that's what I thought. Did they shiny lock the Dialga too? I feel like I remember that, but I'm probably just stupid. Also, shiny locking is the dumbest shit. Shiny locking is the worst fucking thing in the world. Like, they shiny lock the new, the new, like, legendary bird trio. The Galarian birds in Gen 8. Dumb. Hey, bro, can you stop? It's kind of cringe. Yeah. 
Uh... This doesn't do any damage, right? Like, he's got at least four defense. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm more mad that they shiny locked the horses. I mean, I didn't get the DLC, so at the end of the day, it doesn't affect me that much. But just, like, the idea of shiny locking the new Pokemon is like, wow, thanks! I hate it! Awesome! I can't wait for you to get me excited. Like, force me to get excited about an event that I don't give a shit about because I don't care about the event Pokemon in the first place, just so I can get this shiny that I could have already had. Woo! But at least, at least events are accessible to anybody with internet now. Considering they used to just be, oh, if you're a kid, get fucked, because you have to show up to an IRL event, fucking like Japan or some shit, to get this Pokemon. How awesome for you. Um, shinies, shinies are just, just a palette swap. It's mainly just the thing, shinies are rare, therefore people want them because they are rare. Like, it's like, for a lot of people, like, finishing the Pokedex is really, really easy at this point. So the ultimate collection goal of, like, yeah, it's just a human thing. So, like, the, the ultimate goal of, like, the ultimate collection goal in Pokemon isn't really to get the Pokedex done, because the Pokedex is kind of really easy to get done. It's just like, oh, I have a Pokemon, or I, I like, really like this shiny, or I really like this Pokemon, so I want to have a shiny of this Pokemon, right? Um, and so you just hunt for it because, you know, collection is a part of Pokemon and shinies make it to where you'll never be done collecting if you really don't want to be. Oh boy, my favorite part of the video game. I can't wait. Although, I mean, there are methods to make it way easier. Like, in Alpha Sapphire, a lot of the shinies I got were from chain fishing. And literally, it'd take me, like, on average 40 to 50, uh, 40 to 50 encounters to just, to get a shiny. Which is way better than the base rate of, like, 1 in 4,096. Boy, howdy, I sure do love it when I have to do this. Uh, if I messaged, if I messaged, if I messaged my roommate and asked him to, like, asked him if he was going to grab food, if he could grab me food, do you think he would do it? If there's any place open at this point. Because I really want food. Because I think Matt's playing Destiny right now, so I don't know if he would. I don't know if Derek's home or not. Yet again, the 60s take way too long. Oh boy. Oh, actually, War Spike. Cool. I could go ahead and catch you up on the... I could go ahead and catch you up on the thing that I was running by everybody else, and people seem to enjoy it, so I figured you might enjoy it as well. Um, so... It turns out you could there there are methods by which you could do free media share, um, which is cool because I think I think donations for media share is dumb as shit. But you know that's besides the point. So I was thinking about doing um, think about doing like an infinite pit, like floor one hundred or whatever, right? Um, and uh, we we turn the media share on. This sounds Monka TOS already. I mean we can it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, videos or whatever, people aren't going to copyright you for videos, as long as they don't do, like, music and shit. And I can I can watch that, that's whatever. Um, but, like, um, we, we do a media share infinite pit stream, um, and we try to, you know, beat Bone Tail, but, uh, 
I if I laugh, I have to restart. So I'll finally get to see if you guys are actually funny or not. That sounds cool. Although one question, of course, of course. I. Media share inherently requires you to set like you have to donate this much money per second. Like if you do ten sets per second, you can you can donate ten ten seconds of a video if you donate a dollar. Um, I don't think. See, I was going to do it as a channel points thing, but I don't think there's we. I've been look. Uh, uh, Jojo and I were looking into ways to like, you know, uh, customize it and stuff. Uh, I don't think there's a way that I can do channel points with it, cause I that's originally what I wanted to do. I didn't want it to be for free, free. Like I figured channel points would be, would be a good way to do it, but I don't think there's a way to set that up. I'm still looking into it. Uh, if I can do channel points, I will do channel points. But for now, apparently there's just options. You can set it to be zero. You, you can set it to be like free, uh, and people can just send videos. You can set like a max amount of time on the videos. Uh, people just like clip which portions of the videos they want. Uh, and apparently there's like a spam detection system or spam protection, so it won't just be like everybody sending like dumbass videos all the time, or like the same person spamming 20 videos in a row. Probably submit things other people request via channel points. Um, you can do that. So, so uh, one thing that people tend to do for media, even the people like the bigger streamers that do like donation media share streams, uh, they have mods that like look at the videos, uh, and if the videos are like Monka TOS or something that they don't want to be shown on stream, the the they just throw it away. like they they keep the donation, they throw the video out, right? Um, but my thing was I I didn't figure I would have like. Since you're, since you're also streaming, I didn't figure I would have somebody who would be dedicated for the entire stream to do that. So I just was, like, throwing that out. I mean, they donate. They donate money, and they donate the video. If the video can't be shown on stream, they, they, they're not going to show the video. But you still freely donated your money, so they keep the donations. That's also the reason that I really hate... Media share donation streams because it's just a way for the rich to get richer on it. Like media share stuff is cool. Um, media share tied to donations is cringe. In my in my humble opinion. But yeah, there's totally a way you could do that. Um, the only thing I'm trying to think because the the best thing help keep the video quality up yeah that is true um but you can i'm pretty sure you can also set like a minimum view limit so the video has to have been seen by like so many people or yada 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 so that it's not anything like they just uploaded or some shit um the thing this the best thing about media share in my opinion at least is the fact that people can like because they're sending like a certain amount of time for however much they donate or whatever uh they can like crop the video however they want, like where they want it to begin, where they want it to end, which part of the videos they do. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of like timing that could come into it too. So it wouldn't just be like them D I, I would prefer if it wasn't just them like DMing a mod a video and then s them sending me the full video. Cause that also would just take a shit ton of time if somebody's sending like a fucking five minute video or whatever. Um, so if we could find a way to do that, then like through media share, that would be nice. Like, if people submit a video on MediaShare, and then they, like, do the channel points, and then you can be like, okay, this person sent their channel points, send the video through. I wish I knew of good videos to request. <laughs> I mean, it's all about your sense of humor. This is going to be you guys proving to me that you're actually somewhat funny. I'm always funny? That is not true at all. And I know this because I've met you IRL. Papaya, I'm not funny? That's fine. As long as you admit it, it's o it's okay to be not funny as long as you admit it. Not everybody has to be funny. Okay. There's the, f there's the funniers and the funnies. Uh, 
didn't react fast enough. I hate dry bones. 60s fucking sucks. I've lost three live streams to the 60s. Cool. Is YouTube the only uh, only site supporting? Uh, I believe so. I'm not entirely certain, but I imagine. Like, like I, I, I'd honestly be surprised if it wasn't. Or if, if, if it wasn't the only site supported. Just because people tend to not give a shit about other sites anyways. Twitch clips. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think you could just send like straight up links because Twitch clips, Twitch clips aren't only like the Twitch website. It's also just like straight up its own link. So I don't think I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you can, no. I think I think it has to be YouTube videos. But again, that's just I need to look a bit more into me like media share the the uh, application specifically. And there was also something on stream elements that I wanted to look at because it might automatically allow you to do like channel points and stuff connected to it. Uh, but I don't use stream elements, so I'd have to like get all that fixed up too. How long has this guy been rebuilding minions for? Uh well he only did it once until you said that, so thank you, Mamie. He only did it once, but now, you know, now now they're just doing it because they heard you talk about it. And they're like, oh, that's a cool idea. Are Twitch clips supported? Really? I didn't think they would be. Okay. Cool. No, I get No, you guys are fine. No, really. No, for sure, yeah. No. No, yeah, you guys are... No, for real, yeah. Uh, no, big fan. Big fan, Dry Bones. Big fan. And we're back to where we started. I was gonna say, if that doesn't fill it up, I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm gonna get murked again. I'm gonna get Nick murked. No, that's just an actual video uploaded to YouTube, isn't it? I didn't think that was a Twitch clip. Pretty sure that's actually just on YouTube. Is this Fly Me to the Moon thing? Because I know what you're talking about. I've seen it. Yeah, I was going to say, that's on YouTube. That's a YouTube cover. Bro! Bye bye, bot man. See you later. Really, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss your time here. You were a great chatter. Sincerely. Ouch. Get a nice chunk back here. We're gonna get over a hundred. I have no clue about the Twitch clip thing. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I still gotta, I still gotta work out like all the extra details for it. But I thought it'd be a pretty fun stream because I like the media share things. Uh, like I, I'm even one of the normies that likes you laugh, you lose stuff sometimes. Uh, depending on the stakes. Like if it's just regular, I don't really give a shit. But I like, I like stakes on it. Um. And. Uh, I, I wanted to. I wanted to see. I, w I wanted to decide how to do it in my own way, and I figured like if there's a way I could do it around TGYD, the pit would be the way. Like do a pit run without laughing, or you reset, 
An infinite pit. I was going to do like a pit, like a challenge run, but then JoJo said infinite pit. I'm like, wow. Like, actually, why didn't I just do that? That's such a good idea, because I can also just randomize it, too, after every failed run. Wow, I missed that. I can't believe that. Every pie clip to you. T you think I'm going to laugh at my own clips? I'm going to sit here. I'm going to crack a smile and be like, oh, my fucking God. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to chuckle at my own clips. You'll have to do better than that. That will make the laugh even better. I mean, okay, you do you, dog. All right, let's see how many star points we get here. And there's the 100. Yeah, that's right, Max is getting 100, I forgot. I'm not re-uploading them. I didn't figure you would. <laughs> also, just set the min view count to like 1,000 and then you won't be able to send them anyways. Well, actually, no, you're a mod. Mods tend to, mods are able to, if I give them access, mods can just bypass it anyways, so you, you'd be able to, never mind. I got so many coins just because I killed so many dry bones. It's not a phase, Mom. It's not cringe. Yeah, so that's five life shrooms. All because stupid ass... Mm. The 60s are so bad. I hate them so much. I'm not cringe. You're cringe. Okay. Uh, well, should be able to get a free wipe of the Dark Wizard. Never mind. Um. Okay. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. I think there's zero reason for me to not reset this fight. I I can't think of a reason that I would continue this fight after what just happened. Super unfortunate, really. I didn't think I was gonna max that one out for some reason. Need all the coins I can get. What are these thumbnails? Worst by have you not been checking out the YouTube channel, man? I've been I've been going hard on the thumbnail games, brother. Gotta play the YouTube game, baby. I never noticed this. Yeah, I actually I used to hate doing thumbnails, but then I started like learning how to use GIMP a bit more and it started just getting really, really fun to do dumbass thumbnails. I've gotten compliments of many for my wonderful YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> it's just funny. I was going to say, if you healed, I'm going to be pissed. If he healed, I was going to be so pissed off. So he's taking about 5, 4. So if he doesn't dodge this... If he doesn't dodge this, the wizard goes down. 
Oh, okay, cool. Okay, Dark Wizard down. Master MasterChef for the best things in the world. Thank you, thank you. I worked really hard on those. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, wow. But it's all good. Oh, goodness. Okay. So now, if they don't rebuild, they die. Because I think they're going to take one more turn of burn. So the back one's going to have 4 HP. The front one's going to die. Just do not rebuild is all I really ask of you. Yeah, they're still burnt. To a crisp. Ah, okay. Not done yet. Not done yet. Of course. Oh! Oh, no, wait, he dies. I was about to say, wait, but he's at 1 HP, so it's all good. Oh, and since he dies, the back one dies. Cool. I'm really happy with the I robbed my little, ro I robbed my little brother video. That one's, that one's one of my favorites. Yeah, that's just kind of how YouTube works. Uh, people watch the beginning of things, and they watch the end of things. In between, like, especially if you go and watch channels that just do, like, full playthroughs of, like, 20 part, 10 part, whatever, how many how many videos it takes playthroughs, uh, their most viewed videos on those are always the first one and the last one. Never the in-between ones. I knew you were gonna, I knew you were gonna do that. I, I misspoke and was hoping that you wouldn't pay attention to that one, but, yeah, no, you got me on that one, that's fair. You, you got me on that one, I'll give you that. I was trying to just, I was trying to just like, uh, get away, but you know. You're gonna get caught, you're gonna get caught eventually. I can't. What can I say, you know? What can I say, except for I got caught. Has 63, didn't even... Exactly! First video, last video. First video, last video. Which is weird. I, it, it, like, it, it's just that general rule that gets followed because nobody... Who wants to watch the first 20 floors, right? But just because it's the first video in a playlist of videos, it gets more views. It's actually crazy how it works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you shared that one around specifically. <laughs> uh, no? What the fuck would I want that? Go away, idiot. Stupid puny! You make me look bad. For an introduction? Yeah, exactly. Exactly! No, that's my point. Yeah, that second one is also very true. So many times I try to click, like, view full playlist, and it'll just automatically start playing the first... the first video. Actually, random YouTube question for anybody that might know. So, like, I made that music playlist, right? When it when it counts, like, how many views that playlist has, is it, is it every time 
that somebody's clicked onto the playlist and started listening to it, or is it every single time somebody like listens to one video in that playlist? So if you listen through every single song in the playlist, like every single video, it gets 66 views, or would that still count as one? I actually don't know, because I noticed that it had like 300 some views, so I figured it was the latter. Unless everybody here just really likes listening to that playlist. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was going to say, I imagine per video. Mouse only, please. Uh, I don't have Miss Mouse, so I cannot honor that request. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, your request has been denied. I express my deepest condolences. To both you and your family. I need to do a mouse only. Wait, why? Oh, I forget. I even forgot that was a quote, to be honest. A mouse only run. Oh boy. That can be one of the filler arcs when we do Master Quest. Just like how the Media Share Pit... Like, I was just trying to come up with things I could do, like... If we took a day break or something from, like, uh... From Master Quest. Just things to, like, fill the time. Uh... Maybe the Miss Mouse only run can be one of those filler breaks. But we gotta do Level 1 Prologue Pit first. We gotta, we gotta get our YouTube video. Everybody say hi, YouTube! Ha ha ha! Are you still doing Master Quest? I'm do I, I was going to do Master Quest once I completed this. Hi, ah, uh, ho ho! Almost got you there! Oh, ho ho he he hoo hoo! Almost tricked him. Oh, Dizzy Pog! Oh, it missed both. Nice. Nice. -o. You know, I didn't even get super excited after we got out of the 60s. I forgot we got out of the 60s. <laughs> I'm just like cruising right now. Getting the getting the Goombella health just to flex and get a perfect bingo that we don't need because we only need flower flower points. Damn, we took that dizzy to the bank. <laughs> He missed both his attacks. One of them was supposed to hit both of us. It's crazy. I don't understand why my fire drive doesn't work on the chain chomps. There's steel type Pokemon and fire super effective against steel, right? Like I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. Sakurai really fucked up with his balancing on this one. He's got to get his shit together. Otherwise, they'll never release another Paper Mario for the PlayStation. Uh, Steel-type attacks are super effective. Steel-type attacks are super effective against ice as well as fire-type moves. Good job, War Spy! Woo! Pokemon Master! <laughs> Let's go, War Spy! Yeah. Strong against ice attack. Yeah. Strong against ice. Yeah. 
See, because that one makes sense. Ice isn't very effective against steel. Like, that That makes sense. So, I, I don't get why... I, I just don't... I don't know. Does it make sense to me why fire would not be super effective in that case? Hmm. Curious case of Paper Mario. Well, we did not opt to grab any extra POW blocks or anything uh, early on. <laughs> see you later. Send me a postcard from hell, brother. Oh, see you later. Oh, dear God. Let's try that one again without the shitty audience. Okay, this one's better. There are some dull bones, but, you know... I can't complain about a mostly Boo and Toad audience. Ouch. Uh, cause honestly it's really, really busted. So I feel like if I use it, I'm cheating. You know what I mean? I, I'm trying to just make this run more fair. I don't want to win too easily, you know? Just like how we had to throw at the end of Bone Tail last run. Just so that we'd have more content. I didn't want to win first try. Like, Otherwise, people would think this is easy, and then they'd do it, and then I wouldn't be the only person in the world that's done it. You know what I'm saying? If everybody knows how easy this actually is, they'll just go out and do it. Yeah, that's an accurate assessment. Also, Spaghetti Pog. Oh, cool. Wow, no, no, for real, yeah. No, awesome. Thanks for that one. Oh, super cool. Super cool. Wow, and a charge up, nice. He really just wants to make sure he kills, huh? Uh, all right, well, I'm just gonna wait this one out. Got that, thank goodness. Yeah, they are. They're really going. I, I, I guess I give them credit for the creativity at the very least. You know, that sure was that sure was something. Would have been slightly more optimal if he would have charged up the same turn that he got made big, so he didn't waste one of his uh, turns where he's big. But, you know, uh, we can only expect so much from the AI. Honestly, that's still impressive enough to me. Oh, uh, why did I instant that? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's all the Mario health never mind. No, the Mario health's what I wanted. Eh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, well. We're gonna get a mushroom bingo anyway, so who cares? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I won't... I guess I can't say that. Because I have been missing my bingos because I've been kind of lazy tonight, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Oh, Andy, okay, yeah. No, for sure. No, yeah. No, like, I... Yeah, for sure. No, that makes sense. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, Koopa Patrol. I get you. Can't ever make it easy, can ya? Always gotta be a bastard child until the end. Uh, we had a Toad and Boo audience, but didn't get any... Didn't get any items. Mm. 
Clean fight, clean fight. Damn, the full audience still almost gave me everything I needed. Uh, just almost filled it up. If it wasn't, if there weren't any double ones in the audience, that actually would have just filled it up. Or no, I guess it did. Never mind. Just panned away before I saw it. Just getting a nice chunk of money, honestly. Always nice to have a little cash on hand. Uh, what's the layout? Ooh, hello! Wow, and the spite pouch. Yeah, okay. Good thing we be Thunder Rage. If it wasn't a spite pouch, I was tempted to go for it. Uh, but... Yeah, let's just... We do be Thunder Raging, though. Uh, so what that was was 73. Okay, 74. Not bad, not bad. Keep the gravy train a rolling. How was your Thanksgiving? Uh, this is my Thanksgiving. Right here, I am very thankful. Oh, good, shooting star, Pog. I would be, I would be really thankful if I could get that shooting star there. Uh, well, I was gonna go down. I was gonna go down uh, to my family on uh, on Wednesday or yesterday. Uh, and then there was going to be two different Thanksgivings, and then on Monday I was like, "Yeah, I'll just, I'm just not gonna do that. Like, uh, it's just not worth it." Um, which apparently, what both of them, one of them got completely canceled, and the other one got set to way fewer people. So I'm at least proud of my family for not being incredibly stupid, like insanely stupid. That's a plus. Uh, but just not, not in the cards this year. Kansas is legitimately one of the worst states, if not the worst state in the country right now. Um, just based off of cases per 100,000 people, so. The charge up is not what I was hoping for. Uh, I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you there. All right, we're gonna try and chill with this one. Wow, I missed that. That fucking sucks. Please attack. Please don't shooting star right here. Thank you. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you. Well... Trying to save the sweet treat, but now we just have to play super well. They got he did, he did, he at least didn't shooting star me there. That would have just straight up cost me a life from so I you know thankful for that one. Ha ha ha. Worst spot. I keep wanting to ask you how your Thanksgiving was, and then I remember you're in Canada. Because I just fucking ugh. Just do it. Just eat my fucking life shroom. Whatever. I deserve to lose that one. Cause I I forget that ho there we have multiple holidays that are like U.S. only. It's so weird. Oh, that's a really weird camera glitch. I haven't seen that before. Because he attacked right after he charged, I guess?
Life stream sharing mechanic. That's a good thing to be thankful for. True. Big true, honestly. Doing too well against the Koopa Trolls and the Swoopulas tonight. Co the Koopa Trolls aren't as bad as they were before, but the Swoopulas, I. Uh, um, feeling kind of sketch on those. Defend, get our FP back one more time. So even if they both charge, I could just kill them in one turn without having to worry about anything. Seventy-four. Yeah, that was seventy-four. Five is what chain chomp floor? It's the one chain chomp floor. Uh, okay. I guess let's test and see what it is first. I might just need fire drive anyways. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. Not the worst floor, not the best floor. Um but at least we get to fire drive, burn, whoever he's gonna end up boost sheeting. Wow, that was really early. Wow, that was so early. She ain't got no legs or arms. Well, I already dislike this fight, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, she just closes her eyes and fucking hopes she doesn't die. <laughs> just, please, don't hurt me. Correct. It's also pretty messed up that the dry bones audio, like the dull bones audio, just is a thing that exists in the first place. Honestly, that's such a fucked up audience to give to somebody. Why would you do that? Why you do the thing you do? Nice. <sighs> more FP, it'll take a couple more swings of the hammer before those guys go down though. Let's 
she just married to it, but Bone Tail, if I get to spend multiple hours straight, having an audience, they could just kill Chandra. But worse by, you're not supposed to play the game this way! Come on, man! <laughs> you're not supposed to play the game this way! Sorry, I was having a Nintendo stroke. If I could just stop getting hit by the chain chomp, it'd be great. I don't know why that's the one I'm struggling with right now. Oh, I thought it popped up already. God damn it. But we're pretty close to killing the Koopa Troll. What is with me in the Chain Chomp? Getting the Koopa Troll is just fine, but the Chain Chomp? No, can't get the Chain Chomp, that's illegal. Okay, well this motherfucker, uh, die dies. What? I actually am so confused right now. Why am I missing that? That's what, three, four chain chomps I just missed in a row? That's insane. Not, not enough time, oh well. I thought maybe with double danger it'd go for long enough, but... This fight would already be over if I hadn't missed all those Chain Chomp Super Guards. Like, I actually think I missed four. He would be dead. Jesus. They gotta play perfect against the Koopa Trolls. I thought I missed that one, too. My god, what is wrong with me? Okay, there we go. I don't know why that was such a problem, but here we are. But here we are, 76. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, we got this floor at least. As long as I don't choke, they gave me a little bit of a break. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you for the break. Now let me just not play bad. I've been missing the Chain Chomp Super Guard, so, you know, it's still possible I just choke this away right here. It's okay, he didn't attack Goombella, which was the main thing. There was no danger. I was never in harm's way for a second. And as long as the wizard doesn't heal up, he dies, and then it's just Chain Chomp Super Guarding Simulator. Really? I thought that double tap would get Mario. Oh well. Still get six, so it's fine. Oh wow. Guys, would you look? It's that thing that I said I didn't want him to do. Isn't it crazy how he did the thing that I said I didn't want him to that's wow. That's it that's 
You sure are a clever little wizard you are. Oh boy. You're the brightest little wizard at the at the daycare center. At the fucking at the in the class. You get a gold star for being an asshole. Cause now I have to sweet treat again! You ever think about how fragile the balancing for Sweet Treat is? Like, accidentally? Like, Sweet Treat was like 1 HP, 1 FP, anything. Like, one slight change away from being like absolutely busted or completely useless. I think about that sometimes. Like, what if it gave 8 health when there were 2 people instead of 7? Literally as I was saying it. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna level up, are we? God, I wish I wasn't doing so poorly on the chain chomps. I don't know what it is about them tonight. I'm just not feeling it. be done with chain chomps. I don't know why I can't fucking guard these things tonight. Okay. Cool. Get a nice chunk of coins back. We'll probably be able to get at least another Thunder Rage back uh, whenever we find... A Charlie to if we find another Charlie to come here. Thank you. Ooh, triple coup patrol with a boo sheet to boot. Shy guy audience, not bad, not bad. Look, it's that floor you perfected. Wow, that's crazy. Nice. Doing good so far, I think. Doing pretty well so far, I would say. <laughs> okay, well, this boo sheet's gonna run out before I actually get enough for my next fire, fire drive. Double danger, looks like it fills it up, cool. health took full credit no I take all credit for my for my shortcomings oh, that was way too late that early one is gonna be the death of me that fucking early one is gonna be the death of me There we go, finally. There's the charge up we've been waiting for. Did 
defend Sweet Treat. Just need to get those first two. Be pretty clear. Okay. Don't play like shit, please. There's one. I mean, I'm pretty sure Bowser punishes peep punishes his lackeys just by like, you know, literally setting them on fire. So I'm sure they're used to it at this point. Like they're taking damage, but they don't flinch, you know. Too late. Okay. They're definitely flinching. They go, ay, yeah, yeah, and then they're just standing there. Yeah, but, like, they're on fire constantly is the thing, right? They're on fire constantly, but it only hurts... It, they, they, only, they only show pain every once in a while. It's guarding to be safe. Just one pair. One peril fills that up too. My goodness, God, that is so much. God, that was such a good flick. Oh my God, not even super necessary, but. was what the triple coup patrol floor so that was 77 okay got past those guys one two one two four five i wanted to check my level 16 oh we're probably still gonna make a list star huh which would be nice all right, what do you got for me? This floor? All right. Oh, no. That'd be a good drop if I get it. But, uh... How do I... Because I don't want to waste any more items here. Also, fuck that runaway. Oh my god. Um. I guess I do this? Like. Stack pretty luckies. Uh, I can't put any pretty luckies on because otherwise I'd have to super guard the Dark Coup Patrol 25 times to win. And I'd prefer to not do that. Wow, this is an all Toad audience, too. Oh, that's already a problem. Oh, I'm gonna charge up so it doesn't matter. Um.
I don't actually know what his sleep chance is, but if I get it, he's dead, so. Oh, well, that's great. That's awesome and stuff. Wait. Wait, hold up. Hold the phone? I should have died there. I definitely should have lost at least one life from there. He had a 70% chance to sleep and I missed that too. That's crazy. Because 70% to hit both. Well, it doesn't matter what the 70, what the percent is to hit both because I can keep resetting until the first one hits. It was only, yeah, it was just the 70% for the second one. Focus miss, true. Okay, now this guy just needs to die. Fog is not good. Ah, uh, but it helps there. Never mind. He didn't do the thing. Um, please hit. Well. Oh, well, at least that hit, I guess. Ouch. I suppose that also works. Back row kit. He did. I. I was. I was actually thinking the same thing. He. He was sitting there for a while. Like his. His stun animation is a long time, but it wouldn't have made any sense. I. I literally did not see how there was any way I killed there. I definitely had not done some enough damage. He has 10 HP. He's got to have, like, three or two left. I don't think I've super guarded him, so I think he's got three. Uh, but regardless, he should be dead here. star points back. Thank you, Toad. All the star power. Oh, full Toad audience. Never felt better, honestly. We could get this for Bone Tail. It'd be free GG easy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Man, you must be fun at parties. Do this one more time. And then this is going to take a little bit because we're going to be doing, I think. I think he's got, what, three defense? He's got either two or three defense. So we're going to be like doing like one or two damage per turn plus any super guard damage. But every two turns, I have to. It's going to take a bit. Item is that just random? I think it's just random for every audience, although I'm not entirely certain. Okay, so he takes two, so he's only got two defense. That helps a little bit. Fog? Oh, awesome. Yeah, audience throws seem like a. Audience throws are a really weird form of RNG. Also, thanks for that, I guess. Cool.
Yeah, we're going to be on this fight for a little bit longer, but as long as I play everything as I should, this should just be a guaranteed dub. No, no live stream losses or anything dumb like that. Just need there to be less fog. Fog is the only thing that really worries me. Possible mode chapter three. Wow, who would have thought? We've come a long way. Oh, that was one too late. Why? Using power smash is cheating. True! I can't believe I saw that. There was a toad directly in my way. Holy shit, I can't believe that I actually got that. That was that was pure luck that I that I hit it right there. Pure luck. And I double tapped it. That's missing two Gumbella. Oh, still got all I needed though, nice. Thank goodness. A nice charge up. At least two damage, two damage per turn is not too bad at least. Could have been one damage per turn and we'd be here for literally ever. Oh my good god. You know you're allowed to like stop, right? Like that's a thing you can do. We're just throwing that one out there. You know, you don't have to, but you totally could. Like, really. Just a suggestion. You don't have to take it. Another two damage. Woo! Hell yeah. So anyways, JoJo, about the about you saying you were going to do level 1 prologue pit eventually, right? So like tomorrow? Is that when eventually is? I always forget what day eventually is. It's like Thanksgiving and Easter. I never know what day it is. I always forget. So like tomorrow or... GG's. Yeah, straight mischance is super lame. I agree with the. <laughs> oh, baby! That ice storm is going to be insanely helpful. You love to see it. Oh, hey, how are you doing today? Let me switch badges real quick. After I tattle. Oh, hello, Goomba audience. Oh good, all four attack Goombella. Man, I was really, uh, really, really glad I took Zap Tap here. Yeah. 
Man, Zaptap really coming in clutch. There we go. Okay. Oh, see you later, nerd. That is bad and stuff. Two. Okay, Gabella doesn't die this turn. I mean, I'm. I think we're past the point of saying it's arguably. I definitely think this is this is the hardest one. But hey, some people might still have differing opinions. Who knows? Impossible pit. Yeah. Impossible pit. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I thought you were still talking about level zero. I was like, I, I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure we've covered that at this point. Like, uh, no smile. How about we just don't do that, smiley face? Wait, what? Excuse me? They weren't even holding one! That was just a random drop! Are you serious? Holy shit! Uh, we got ourselves another ice storm. What the fu- what is the puff? Are they 80 or 90% susceptible to freeze? I forget which one it is, but the poison puffs are insanely susceptible to freeze. But goddamn! Boo audience? We haven't been getting anything from the audience despite getting a bunch of boos and toads, weirdly enough. But hey, the two ice storms, honestly? Good enough, I will take it. That is that is so good. Yeah, that was a swoopula. I didn't even know they could randomly drop that. That's so weird. Yep, that's about right. About a 0.3% chance. Nice. How do you kill Bonetail in Impossible Pit? Uh, you have Ultra Hammer. You do you do post game, like Impossible Pit or like pre shadow pre shadow Queen, whatever. So you have Ultra Boots, Ultra Hammer, and all your partners. Wait, wait, there are a hundred? I thought it was just like. Really high, not actually a hundred percent. Holy shit, no way. God damn, that's so good. Hey, Burp, what's poppin', homie? How you doing tonight? Every freeze has a slight built in chance to not work. Okay, that would make sense, I guess. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think I think we'll make it through somehow. All right, well, GG's to this fight. Oh wow, thank you. You could have thrown a boost sheet instead, but no, I appreciate that. Turkey day is completed. My belly's full. Did you have a big family one, small family one, or did you just make yourself some foods? So got four life shrooms in the 80s. Doing well, doing well. 
Got enough to buy a Thunder Rage when we get to 90 if we get that last Charlie Tin, which would be nice. Possible mode pit is for you currently, not even that you should finish again, just want to see. Um, I mean, I think it'd probably be harder for me right now. I think I'm better than I was when I played Impossible Pit, but I'm still really rusty. So I just feel like I wouldn't do as well, honestly. I've been a bit more sloppy on these challenges, so I don't feel like I'd do crazy well. Ah, uh, you had a big family gathering? Gotcha. Um, uh, Overhyping a possible mode pit in our heads since it's been so long. I mean, the thing about it is that, like, the only real saving grace is the fact that you could just, like, bingo scum it. But, like, I have to have a really good sense of... I have to have a really good consistency to not just die, right? Even with the extra damage, you have to have a really good consistency to not just die. And, like, my consistency, my consistency at least in here for this run and the level 0 run... Just hasn't been like what I imagine it would need to be to be up to snuff, right? Like it just doesn't seem like I'm playing well enough. Like we'll breeze through the early floors, whatever, but I mean yeah, we get a bunch of meat shields, but like what's gonna happen is we're just gonna get back to like the dark coup patrols. Or the uh, wizards, and we're gonna choke because we're not as good at them as we used to be. And we're just gonna get hit in the back twice and we're gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. The nice thing about Impossible Pit is that if I wanted to, I could go back to the file and I could just, like, try it again because it doesn't matter if we get to Bone Tail or not. Bone Tail doesn't matter. Although, if it is the pre Impossible Pit file. Um, the only issue is that the level ups will be really scarce, so I honestly probably wouldn't want to do it then anyways. Like on that file, I'd probably need a new file anyways. Which would require me playing through the whole game again. Or at least up to the point where I get all of my damage, damage output. Uh, getting Ultra Hammer, Ultra Boots, and all the partners. So getting Ultra Hammer, because I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything after Ultra Hammer that I need. I think I have everybody once I have Ultra Hammer and I grab Miss Mouse. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, but you know me. Stupid. You know me, and I'm stupid. Uh, what's this gonna be? Ah, for a Rantulus. A classic layout. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, Beauty and the Beast. You know, we've, we've been here, done that, right? up and get our FP back start schlepping some more arantulas Um, 
Okay, another sleep. Perfect. All right, challenge to do the list we reach. Oh, that one is definitely uh, hard to say. <laughs> hard to tell. Mostly because we're starting to just get, it's we're starting to blur the lines of what's really difficult and what's like, like what is really more difficult than other thing, you know? Yo, the homie shy guy, I never get those. Yeah, it's, homie shy guy is definitely uh, far and in between. A laptop, um, well, what are you trying to get it to do? I think is what really matters, you know? It's just like a schoolwork laptop. Because honestly, for like schoolwork type laptop, most laptops will do. It, it doesn't matter too much, honestly. For gaming laptop, there's quite a bit you could do. Oh wow, that is so good. Yeah. Like most laptops have fine capabilities, um, but like... Yeah, an all-arounder. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too big on laptop brands. Mostly because I just got to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'll just run my PC. Uh, how to? Said tired to learn how to roll a single hour on stream. Wait, what? How to roll? What do you mean, how to roll? I was about to say, we're getting there, and then you wake up my plans and then fog wakes fog shows up and ruins my plans further this is gonna be really bad okay at least got that sleep thank you oh thank you oh R oh that makes that makes way more sense well, rolling your R's is one of those things that, like, normally it's just you can or you can't, right? Like, rrrr. I had a Spanish teacher that couldn't roll her R's, and she was very embarrassed. <laughs> Not that it's her fault, but... God, why do you guys have to have so much health, dude? Spice Canadian, so it's fun. Uh, true! Anything Canadians do tends to be pretty funny. Not in a Canadians are funny kind of way, but in an ironic kind of way. Like, haha, Canadian can't do thing. So yeah, I can agree with you on that front, at least. I was gonna say, he's gotta be really close to dead. That's bad. That's less bad. That back one is sitting pretty. I haven't even gotten to him yet.
sleepy boy yet again. Oh, no sleep on that one. Unfortunate. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this time to tattle. I think we're pretty close to killing this one. A bingo! Yep, audience is already full. My audience has been full for a while now. Good lord. Actually, I guess I'll just go ahead and take you out then. Literal magic feet? Um, I suppose? I mean, it's less his feet and more more the boots, right? I think it's mostly the boots. The Arantulas manage to always pick the one option that could kill me. They could have picked that, they had a 50-50 to pick that attack that does seven damage, uh, uh, and then they had a 50-50 to hit Mario. Fucking awesome. So cool how that works. I should have just healed. I shouldn't have greeted like that. Literally should not have lost a life stream on this fight. I played it so perfectly. Up until then where I got greedy. Cool. Three life streams because I'm bad. Just die, just die. GG. As soon as I see we got the first one, you're dead. But hey, I guess at least you got a life stream out of me, you absolute bastard. Three life streams left, even though I really shouldn't have lost one. Great. That's absolutely awesome. Item to compensate? No, okay. It's fine, we still got plenty of items. Moving on to 84. Doing fine, doing fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the boots, considering the badges are different boots, right? Like, I, I'm pretty confident in saying that's what it is. Okay, now we're in just don't choke the easy shit territory. But obviously, we've proven that that's not possible. It's definitely okay. So, do I have a point? Just, just be. Just because you write it in parentheses doesn't mean that I can't see it. That's not. That's not how parentheses works. Okay, let's. You still, you still said I can still see your. That's not an invisible message. Okay, that's. No, you can see. Yeah, no, no, I know. I, I just told you I can see it. Uh, you don't have to tell me. I'm the one telling you that I can see it. This isn't, this, I'm not confused. 
I don't know why you're giving me information that I already gave you. This doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I actually thought I was late on that. It's been kind of awkward telling tonight. Wow, that was way too early. Holy shit. Don't know why it's that. Thank you. I double, why did I double, why did I double, why did I double, why did I double, that was so bad, that was bad. It's fine. Just don't choke. One. Safe zone. Sorry, I've got like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of people adding me for fucking, okay, yeah. Bunch of Among Us ads, the usual. I just, I, sorry, I had like eight notifications and it was getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay, had to, <laughs> Discord notifications have been taken care of. Now we sweet treat, restart, do this fight. So this is what, 85? Yeah, 85. You learn to roll your R's in less than an hour, is what you're saying? That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. And you know what? That's okay. At least you got it once, and that's what matters. Prolong a roll dart? You mean just like make it last longer? Like. exactly how it works, but the way that it feels when I do it is like I just exhale to make my tongue roll and I'm using breath to do so, so I just keep exhaling. Like <gasps> and you can tell when I'm using like more breath or less breath to make it go to like make it stronger or weaker too. It's hard for me to explain how to do it. That's just the best way that I, I can explain the like sensation that's happening when I'm doing it. Am 
I'm moving my tongue. Well, I, I already know how to do it, so it's hard for me to like try and do whatever you're trying to do, I guess. Or like imagine it. Okay. One more super guard will kill the front one. Chat to leave it in one place, the vibration happens on the mat. Yeah, I don't move my tongue. Like I said, I just like it, it feels like I'm my ex my exhalation forces my tongue like up and down, up and down. I don't know. That's the only way I can really explain it, but it's hard for me to actually be like, yeah, no, so you just do this, this, and this, because I don't like it's just a natural thing, so I can't really explain how I do it. That's the best way I can describe it, and honestly it's not helpful and I know that. The sensation that I'm feeling. Can I probably enjoy the dull bones? The dull bones, I, I sure hope they don't show up. You have a good night, Cat. I appreciate you popping in here for a while, homie. It's what, 12 per, so I'm gonna get 60. So that's a level up, nice. Oh, they're all dead. They're all straight up dead unless he dodges. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be hard to keep up. <laughs> it's more of an L sound than an R sound, but I get it, I get it. Just vibrate your face. I think I'll end up doing the same thing. If I get the Charlatan now, I think I'll buy two Fire Flowers instead of buying just one Thunder Age. I think it'd be more worth it for the floors that I need to use them on. Oh, that's a Sleepy Sheep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, well, first things first. Fuck the Dull Bones. As soon as Cat said it, a Dull Bones audience showed up. So, thanks for that, Cat. Um, so here's the issue. I think the play is to hope Goombella wakes up and then super guard everything else. Wow, that just sucks. Holy shit. I don't have any way to get past this. I really don't. Okay, just wake up and then do two super guards. Come on. Okay, we woke up. And we just have to wait till Mario wakes up now. We have to wait till Mario wakes up. Oh my god, that's gonna take a while. That is gonna take a while. Okay, well, Mario, I sincerely hope you will wake up soon, buddy. Front one's the scariest one. I was using to try to learn it was three, if that helps. Yeah, I guess if you have an actual word, it makes a little more sense, yeah. Turns. 
One more turn. Come on. One more turn. You're dead. If only they stayed burnt, could just kill them without Mario, right? <laughs> But hey, there we go. There's an example of playing perfectly when I need to. I got the wake up RNG on the first attack and then played perfectly afterwards. Thank goodness I can do something sometimes. Woo. I think my, my main mistake there was the fact that I put Goombella in front, not Mario. I, I literally should have had Mario in front so he could sweet treat Goombella awake afterwards. That was so dumb of me to not do that. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest, but hey, it works out, it works out, you know. I'm pretty sure I do that like every other time. I don't know why I didn't do it this time. I just was like, nope, Goombella in front, I need to, I have to. It was a really weird... Yeah, I don't know why I did that, but it doesn't matter. I played as well as I needed to. A nice chunk of coinage. Move it on to 87. Okay, come here. Oh, it's just two of these guys. Nice. If that is the case... You gotta move around 86 would you take it um i was i was actually just thinking about that a little bit ago um i think i would take it down too because the chance for charlieton's still really good i feel like but i i don't know that's what i'm leaning towards i think i'd take it down two floors because what's the difference right we go to 91 we go straight to 91 and skip 90, or we play out two more 80s floors, then we see 90, and then we're on, like, I don't think it's that big of a difference, honestly. If it was 87, would you take it 5 then? Uh, no. I think that's the same thing. I think I'd still take it down 2. Because then you're still skipping 90, and you're not getting the value from it when you could at least try to get the Charlies in. I think no matter what I, I think no matter what I'd take it down to. Um, unless it's on 89, in which case I'd just go to the next floor, obviously, but Which is a potential item floor though. I mean yeah, I guess I guess skipping ninety one would be worth it. I don't know. When you put it like that, I think it might be worth it. I, I guess it might be worth it to take 91. I can see either way. Um, it's like the chance for Charlieton, chance for Mover. The way I'm taking it is a lot more RNG, I guess. Where you're just guaranteeing that I get past one of those floors. Because you can also get movers in the 90s. Like, it's not like you're not going to get any more movers. Like, it's your last chance. But, I mean, yeah, when you when you put it the way, like, skipping the item floor, I suppose, like, going for the Charlieton doesn't make too big of a difference. Like, going for the Charlieton doesn't make up for that, I suppose. Yet, we got a Super Shroom. That's a decent item. Not the best items the Toads could give us, but I'll definitely take a Super Shroom. It can be useful. It can definitely be useful. But at 
least we got this floor for our 87 floor. Now we just gotta see what the Arantula floor brings us. You know what? Actually, I think I would take it, at least for this run. Because uh, cause I'm, I'm also just remembering we have two ice storms. And those ice storms are fucking massive. At least for this run, I, I guess I'd say I'd definitely take it. Now that I'm thinking about like the items that I currently have. Because we have five Thunder Rages, two ice storms, and we still have the two Fright Masks. So actually that gives us a lot of value for items. Yeah, this run I would take it. This run I would take it. I'll at least say that much. Oh good, we got four Arantulas both times. Maybe this time I won't lose a life stream to me playing like dog shit. At the very last second. After I kill three Arantulas, have one left, I lose a life stream when he's at like six HP like a dingus. God, the Arantula ranges when you have 10 HP are like actually so perfect for that enemy. So ridiculously good for the enemy. I hate it. Their damage range is synergized so well. They have the one hit seven and the three hit four. The three hit four, if it hits the same person three times, can kill. Um, if you even get hit with one of the three of the four, you're within one shot range of the one hit that's seven. With no def with like no defense leniency whatsoever, because it does eleven, not ten. Like it actually fucks you super hard. Oh, that's so good. Do we get the magic four sleep? Are we get the are we gonna get the four for four from Wendy's? The Arantula enemy is one of the coolest enemies, if not the coolest enemy. Uh, like at least excluding bosses. Arantulas are so fucking cool. Well, we got the Wendy's four for four, uh, and then he just and then he, and then that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No game. It's fine. You think you're so cool? You finally give me a four for four, and then you do that. Can't have shit in Detroit. My God. Still only what one awake, two awake. No sleep there. Ouch. No, water's hilarious. Like, I can't even be mad. Wait, Jape is playing World at War right now? Why? What is he doing? He's doing like, oh, he's probably doing modded zombies, actually. That's probably what he's doing. I haven't actually played modded zombies. I need to try that. Ouch. Watch for Mario. Okay. Well, something happened. He had to reload the game. He is back on Call of Duty World of War yet again. God, I hate the close up of Rangelis so much, I need him dead. Close up one is really hard to react to like the last hit. See, I can't. I cannot react to that last hit, I swear. Just 
speeder and now his FPS. Hey, dude. I like zombies, too. No need to be mean about it. Okay, we get one sleep on that. Okay, just... Goombella. Goombella survive. Okay, Goombella... Does survive. Hey, Ben! <laughs> True. Damn! Hit him with the double truer! Okay, no sleep on that one. now at kill range. That front one is still a decent ways away from waking up. True sad, true sad. Oh wow, that was bad. Okay. He was somewhat merciful at least. Oh, never mind. That's enough. Cool. Okay, that Arantula dies next turn no matter what now. Oh, they tricked me. No! Um, I think it's still... Okay, we still get her to eight. Eight is a big deal. Eight at least lets her live the one tap. Yeah, that one right there. after this fight. And it's going to be the same amount either way because it's going to be 8 per turn, so hitting him here is actually fine. So fuck it, I'll just hit him. Oh, and he stays asleep? Nice. GG's Arantula. Okay, got through the four Arantula floor that time without choking a life shroom away at the end. I should still have four life shrooms. I will never be over that, but it's fine. We're doing great. If we get a mover in the 90s, this this is this runs looking really good. Even if we don't, it'll still be fine. But like a mover in the 90s would. Would whoo, be kind of good. But we will have no such luck right now. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right, basic four, make you act make you act on your decision. Oh, I would on 89 I would totally do that. Go to go to go to 94 for free? Yes, please. It's almost the same thing as having a mover in the 90s at that point like
Alright. Get Fire Drive back, and we kill the front one. That was way too late, what am I doing? Please. Don't choke the piranha plants like this. Thank you. Uh. Alright, takes away one of them. Get a nice amount of star, po star power from her being dangerous. That one was almost late. I got that on the last frame. Like, for sure. Should I do that? Okay. See, so I say super guard that, and it's basically GG's, but. Okay. Okay, you need to defend. I need to get this perfect on you so that you get up to nine and you can take one hit. Okay, one poison shroom down. Two down. Okay, that's all the poison shrooms. Perfect, there we go. That was a really good seed. I'm really mad. I'm so mad. God damn, dude. Stop! Okay. It's fine. Oh, and we do get the Charlieton, though. Nice. So what do I have? Uh, 366 coin-wise. We could spend 300 coins. Damn. Two, three, two, three. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do here... What if I have Fire Flower and a Thunder Rage? I think that's the play. And then nothing else. Cool. Uh, I think the one thing that's different, big different about this run is the fact that I haven't gotten any honey syrups. I had like three honey syrups for Bone Teal last run. Um, if I buy a healing item there and a mover shows up, I can't pay for it because I'm at 60 coins. So I'd have to trade a damaging item for a healing item. Five floor at 30. I had 66 coins. I had 66 coins left and the, low, the lowest cost item was a regular mushroom and that was 50 coins. Okay, we're gonna get healed up, ready to go first. Please, no. No, the the floor 90 Charlieton's super expensive. A Thunder Rage is 200 and a Fire Flower is 100. Like, he's just mad expensive. I mean, you made it this far, so he's 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 got the right supply and demand, you know what I'm saying? Okay.
Yep, 91. Penta Elite Wizards. We're just gonna get full healed really quick. Gobella needs to at least be like nine because they do eight damage, but since she's at eight, I'm just gonna have to full heal. Uh, what I do need to swap out is... Actually, wait. Double to P. Double to P. I don't think it will matter, but there's a very small, there's a very rare scenario in which I would want, which actually double dip would not work out for me. So just in case. All right. Apologize for the, uh, you know, fight resetting, but you know, you know how this old, you know, you know how this goes. Gotta be set up for the fight. Oh, that sucks. There's a Luigi here. He could potentially give us that, uh, give us a honey syrup we're looking for. Honestly, it'd be super clutch if we could get a Luigi in a Bone Tail fight. Have we ever gotten a Luigi in a Bone Tail fight? I feel like we've gotten it at least once, because he gives us. Because he can give out shrooms and, uh, HP and FP restoring items. Double dip would not work. Does it rhyme with Pog? Uh, it does not rhyme with Pog, no. It's... Actually, yeah, Fog would have to... It's, it's, never mind, Fog would have to be a part of it, yes. Fog would have to be a part of it, but it's not even really the Fog. It's more just like, if Fog happens, um, I miss one, and I have to play out the next turn, and they attack, and I need to heal... Like, I need FP to double dip again for some reason, like if something really bad happens. It's like... Honestly, not going to happen at all, but just in case. We cannot deny that there is a world. Okay, double dip P. We're going to start with the Fire Flower since the Thunder Rage has the better chance to show up fog, so we can at least get some damage before fog would happen. Thunder Rage. No fog, no fog, no fog, no fog. Nice. Okay, GG to this fight. One Penta Wizards down. Man, they were still 14 each. That's crazy. All right, 92. If we get a mover, if we get a mover, this this is really good. If we could just snag ourselves a mover. It's not required, but uh, it would definitely be helpful. All right, let's just check this layout out. Oh, hello. How many post 40 movers have we had? Um, I think a couple. I actually have not been keeping track to be honest. Let's check this lay out. I thought of that after I said it. Glad that you at least noticed. Okay, well I'm gonna spend this time tattling and resetting. I want to have it like one or two of them on the ground for this. That would be really good. Um, I don't think we got any... I think we got, like, one in the 60s, I want to say? No, did we, no, we didn't get one in the 60s. I think we just got one in the 50s and 40s, right? Oh, we all... Or no, I think we got one in the 50s and we got one in the 20s. And maybe one in the 30s. We had some... Oh, we, we definitely had one on, like... 38 or something. It was like 37 because I skipped over Pity Flower. I remember that much. Okay. If 
I fire drive and then... Hold up. That did not as much... Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Uh, no. We didn't get the slim chance. He was on fire. I just thought it did more than three damage for some reason. He was on fire, so he doesn't freeze. Sorry to burst your bubble on that one. Fire prevents freeze. It just takes the fire off of him. Because we hit him with fire drive, the fire's no longer there. He would have died otherwise. Okay, so we've gotten this far in this fight. Now I just need to not lose to anything dumb. We did fire drive, took out the bomb. Problem is they're only frozen for like one turn, so it's still really hard to get a nice chunk of damage off on them. It's all good. All good, baby. All good. That's not all good. That's actually pretty bad. Fucking A. I'd have... Yeah, we're gonna play it safe for now, actually. That's fine. That was that was data. The freeze doesn't last too long, so I know that it's not like a complete solution, especially if I get unlucky like that. That was just unlucky. <sighs> if he was on the ground, I could have killed him, or if he had 2 HP, I could have killed him. That was literally the only situation. 3 HP in the air, and he charges like that. We have enough Thunder Rages, though, that that's okay. 93. I am not worried quite yet. Okay. Perfect. Free floor. Gave us the free floor after that rough last floor, so that's nice. Okay, so he does heal instead of doing that, which is weird. But it doesn't really matter. He's still going to take... All the damage, all the time. Uh, let's see. They gave 14 pre-level ups. These guys are going to give me either 12 or 13. I don't remember if I leveled up once or twice. I think it was just once. So I think he's going to give me 13. So we're definitely not going to level up off of this one. We're going to get set up for a level up next time. Okay. Imagine this fight put the enemy smart. Well, then it wouldn't be completely free. Okay. So we'll have full health. We'll just have... Um, no, because I have to do that no matter what. Yeah, it won't matter. Say so maybe there's a way around it, but there's not. Let's get the FP. Move on to the next fight. Move on to 94. If Elite Wizards would smart... If it were smart, nothing I've been able to do up to this point would be possible. <laughs> Elite wizard, scary. Alright. 
Oh wow, he only gave me 10? That was way less than I expected, huh. We're probably just misunderstanding something. Doesn't matter, because regardless, we should be set up for a level up here. All right, this is 94. So if we don't get a mover next floor, we gotta fight out the next, we gotta fight out the rest of them. Wow, that sure is. That sure is a floor, I'll give you that much. Yeah, mover next floor after a level up would be the best case scenario. At least turn on the pretty lucky. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ignore Zap Tap to be able to avoid some of this shit, unfortunately. Uh, but with the right, with the right, like, starting setup, the right first turn. Uh, decent RNG. This one's very doable. With Sleep Stomp, pretty lucky. Alright. Here's where the fight's gonna begin. Um, I think what I want is I actually want to start with him going to sleep. Alright, well, we're resetting that shit then. Jesus Christ. Cool, thanks for that. I'd like to re- I'd like to- I'd like to sleep. I- 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 I was debating between the Swampire, like, because it's a Thunder Rage and Ruin Powder, which is really dumb. Um... But I think I think if I get the Thunder Rage asleep, I can just focus around. I can just wait out the um, wait out the confusion. And worst comes to worst, I run away and then I just reset it anyways. Okay, that's good. We got the first sleep we needed. Let's see what we can do. Uh, if we're super lucky, oh, that's what we needed! Holy shit! And then that's not what we needed. That's actually the worst thing. Him charging was the worst. That's unfortunate. I could Ice Storm, but there's no point. There's, there's no point. I can't do enough damage. I need to have a first turn where that... Like, I need to have a perfect first turn to win this fight. I can't just do this right off the bat, unfortunately. It sucks because that turn was so good. Mario dodged. Mario dodged exactly what I needed him to do. That was so unfortunate for me. Let me see how this works out, actually. I wonder. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay, confuse. That's right. He charges anyways. Oh, damn. I really should have. Oh, that's bad, actually. I forgot that that would happen. I forgot that that would happen. I'm actually dumb. I'm actually so dumb. Holy shit. Uh, Thunder Rage me? Okay. Fog? Fog, but they're both there. My god. Okay, well. Well, here we go. Here we go. This could be really bad. That's one. Holy shit. No way. 
Actual foggers. What? Actual foggers? They all three, all three of them missed, and they both missed a multi-hit move. No way. Actual foggers. I feel like I have to go with this. I feel like I have to go with this this one now. I have to go with this one. I had to go with this one. Both of the items are down. This is the best chance I've got. Wow, that's crazy. That's insane. Actual foggers. Okay. That's really good. Holy shit. Oh my god, if we can get this sleep. Oh, hold up. There's a chance, ladies and gentlemen. There is a chance. Oh my god, and an FP bingo? No way. Okay, we didn't get the sleep. But the FP bingo is still really hype. Okay. Oh my god, yes. How, much, how many turns? He's still got three turns. If we get sleep, it's almost GG. No sleep, okay. No sleep till. That's, okay, that's unfortunate. That's all right, though. That's okay. Well, actually, I could. I could. Oh my god, do I want to? I can't, I can't use it on this. I can't, I don't think I can. I don't think I don't think I can. Yeah, I need to fuck. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Okay, come on. That was way too early. That was so early. My hand slipped on it. That's upsetting. Okay, that's fine. One life shroom for this fight is not too bad considering the items they had. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, hello, Fog. Damn, we almost got through that fight flawlessly, too. My god. Hello, Foggers, my old friend. Ba 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 Oh wait, why didn't I sleep him? Yeah, that fight went well. It was literally just one super guard between losing no life shrooms and losing one, and I just choked it really hard. We did miss, what, two, three sleeps in a row on the back one that ended up charging? They gave us plenty of opportunities, but the RNG for the sleep just wasn't there. Yeah. If I could have at least gotten one more hit, I could have just taken the poison hits and hit him too. It's just, when they're at that three to four HP range, it's so obnoxious. Okay, all good, let's go. All right, no movers, okay. Please be something I can do without. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, guarding does not poison, you know. Oh, my glasses. Oh, my glasses. Guarding stops status effects from happening. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm going to use... Yeah, no, I'll be, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know why I didn't regular guard. I was just kind of in the moment there. I, I, I should have regular guarded. Well, to be fair, I missed the regular guard last time, so... Who knows, probably would have made a difference. Okay, well, that's... Slightly obnoxious. Nope, no thank you. Yeah, he's gonna heal right there. Uh, this fight could very well be a problem. Fence up is fine. That's a waste of a turn. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. See? I missed the regular guard there, too, because I'm so fucking good at this game. I don't know why I don't have that down right now. That's so fucking annoying. So cool, I'm so good at the game, yada yada. Awesome, awesome. So glad to be here getting bodied by poison puffs yet again. Because I can't even fucking regular guard that shit. I can super guard it, I can't regular guard it. Couldn't tell you why. But I'm not hitting the super guard anyways tonight, so it's not like that matters. I'm just missing everything. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, that puts me in kill. Ooh. It's kind of kind of disgusting. Kind of you, yicky, yucky, gross. Thank you. Thank you. This fight's GG. But I lost another life shroom on it, which blows. And I still have more floors to go to. We're at one more life shroom. We've got one more. At least we should. If we don't, that's a problem. Yeah. But, like... Oh, my God. I lost more life shrooms in this run than I did in the last run. That's insane. I'm actually playing worse this run somehow. I'm actually playing worse this run. And last time I lost a life shroom to the fucking 40s. Awesome. That is pretty bad. Last time I had one life from left when we got to Bone Tail specifically because I super guarded the uh, puff and now I can't get it. Now I can't even regular guard it. That's awesome. Alright, well, there's only one more floor that could be Penta Wizards at least. We've got one more Fright Mask for if we run into him. Yeah, but I missed two life shrooms to it tonight, and I missed one life shroom to it before. So, like, I'm playing worse. It doesn't matter. Like, it just frustrates me. This floor again. Wow. 
This floor is so awkward. Do you have an audience of shy guys? You guys could toss me a fright mask real quick. That'd be cool. Yeah, I need the FP so I can actually fire drive to start off. And this is probably where we either lose our life streams or straight up die unless I use up all my items and then we die on the fucking 99 floor. Uh, because there's there's still another floor where there could be mazy. <sighs> there's still another floor where there could be a mazy daisies. Oh my fucking god. Can we get RNG that puts them all on bottom? Yeah, but that really doesn't help all that much. I think this time I do want at least two of them on the bottom, though. Because um, having those guys on the top didn't work out last time anyways. So. I need at least two on the bottom. I don't know if it's a straight 50-50 for each of them, or if it's, I think it's like 25% chance for the star on the bottom. I don't even remember. I don't know why I'm grabbing all these coins. Because uh, I have one more Fright Mask, so I could either use it here... ...to try and not lose a life from this floor, or save it on in in the event that uh, an Amazing Daisy pops up. Because I feel like they stay up way more often than they, they go down. I was going to say, please don't let two of them pop down because I missed the first strike and that would piss me off. Okay, chill out. This run's not over yet. For some reason that happens. case scenario, like, if one of them, that's five, four, that's, yeah, that's nine damage. They would take right off the bat, plus another one for the burn. Be Eleven if I were to jump on them. Oh, it's because I, wait. Oh, it's because last time it was the one I first strike. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually guarantee kill the first, like, the front one if it's down. Really? How hard is it to get two of them to pop on the bottom? I'm not gonna wait here for three, but like, is two that difficult? Like, really? I mean, I want two of them down. Three would be cool. But like, why? Why is it that we can't even get two of them to pop down? If it's just a straight 50-50 chance, like, that they'll be up or down, I don't understand. Wow, look. The second worst audience of all time, Amazing Daisies and uh, Dry Bones. Glad I got out of there. Like, at some point, we've got to get them both, like, two of them to drop, right? Like, how is it actually this impossible? I don't understand. Check the sign, reset the RNG in the room. There we go. That's what we were missing, honestly. I, I think that's it. Yeah, it was just the sign. Okay, that's what I figured. It's always the sign. It always is. It's not the best audience, but I mean, at this point, I'll take it. Okay. Fog.
This storm gets rid of fog. Uh. Okay, that's good. Okay. Past the point of items. I just need to... Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, wow, Foggers, Jesus Christ. Fog is being too kind to us, to be honest with you. Jeez. Fog is being really kind to me because it knows I'm playing like dog shit. Okay. Would have been cool if he could have popped down for me instead of doing this nonsense. There we go. It's not that fucking hard. I don't know why I had to make it out to be that difficult, but I but apparently that's just the way it had to be. If he charges, it's over. Because he does 8 damage, so even if I max heal both of them, they're both within death range. I already missed one with Goombella, too. So I have to super guard the tackle, uh, but if he charges, it's GG with Fire Drive. Good enough. No items on that fight, good enough. Okay, 97. Oh hey, look what floor it is. Ain't that crazy. Now here's my problem. Three of them kill I could defend with Goombella, and then the three of them would kill Mario. So I need to figure out how to get around that. Otherwise, we're going to lose this last life stream. What's, th what's the Mavulk's Fright? Because I, I think they're like 10% Fright. It is um, incredibly low, right? So relying on what one of them would make it GG, but uh, check their freeze too for me if you would while I do this. Uh, Bob hyphen Olk. Bob hyphen Olk. The other one is bulky ba bomb. Bob Hulk. Whoa. Because this could very well just be our last life stream right here, which is unfortunate. I mean, there's always the chance that I get the fear, and that'll just, uh, like, if I get the fear, then that's just really lucky. Uh, but we can't rely on it, so I have to. Wait, their fright is 60? I thought it was, like, 10 or something ridiculous. What?
Oh. Um, so odds are that I get at least one of them, I guess. And if I get at least one of them, we win. So I can survive two, but not three. Uh, I guess here we go. Please one. Okay. Whatever works, I guess. Never mind. I was misremembering. Also, nice. Nice. 98. Uh, this one is going to be an amazing daisy floor. Watch this shit. This is going to be the... No! Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. We're, 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 we're doing all right. I'll keep that in mind. So apparently the four of a bulk floor, uh, if we ever run into that, we just have to fear and pray. That is the strat. Wow, that almost failed. All right, so as long as I play this floor flawlessly, we have items for the next floor, and we're going to get to Bone Tail, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm playing well enough tonight to fix the problems that happened last time. I don't know if tonight's the dub. I lost too many life rooms. I lost seven life shrooms this run. That's a lot. My bow tail's better. It's doable. Yeah, it's just. It also depend on audience, I guess. A good audience could make. A good audience could make up for it. I guess that's fair. I did lo I did lose a decent chunk of... I did lose a lot to the statuses, which was really unlucky. Then I got double bit when I needed not to be double bit. Okay, that one's dead. Chill out. There's a perfectly good Mario right there. You can go attack. Just keep going after Mr. Mario, man. That is not Mario. And you have been punished. One down, four to go. It's just a... It's just... It's just a really funny super card. <laughs> like, why? Why does it exist? Oh, I missed that one. Sorry. Okay. Just in this fight for the long haul. Well, I think it's I think it's the same as the first bat you run into at Creepy Steeple, and the bat at Creepy Steeple just runs in runs into you and hits you. He doesn't uh, he doesn't actually like suck onto you, so I think it's just the same as that, and for some reason it's coded in there on the zap tap. Yeah, you could regular guard the zap tap. I I couldn't tell you. See? But it's funnier to super guard it. But why though? Couldn't tell ya. Really couldn't tell ya. 
You crouch in the bed, just I Okay, he's dead. Okay. Oh, two down, three to go. Next up. Uh, no, it should just be a 50-50. I don't think it works like Bug Fables. It should just be a straight 50-50 as far as I, as far as I'm aware. That's a mini Mr. Mini, why? Gross, that item is useless to me. Uh, absolutely no idea. Oh, hey! Actually, Shy Guy the homie, he might have just saved me a full turn. Wait. As long as I don't let him, like, heal off this turn, I kill him next turn. He actually just saved me an entire turn. Let's go. Or a potential, at the very, at the very least, a, another super guard. All right, one more left. It looks like we're gonna level up off this fight, so it's very unlikely we're gonna level up right before Bone Tail. Uh, in fact, I would say a guaranteed not going to level up before Bone Tail. That's pretty funny. It's kind of pog. Oh, GG's. Okay. I bet you will. Even if it's five Penta Wizards, uh, we will not level up. Guaranteed. Because when we fought them on floor 91, which was before like three or four level ups, they gave us 14 each, which is 70. We literally can't level up after this fight. Even if that happens, that'd be 94. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, but here we go. If you get a trade off throw from the audience. Ooh, oh, and it is the Penta Wizards. Oh, hello, audience. How are you? Well, uh, Bushi? What do you mean, Bushi? What? That was an all dry bones audience. Or dull bones, whatever. Huh? Oh, Bushid in the back. I thought you were talking about the audience last time. I was so confused. I wasn't looking at them because I'm about to kill them. Okay, sorry. You were you were confusing the shit out of me. Nice. So if this ends up throwing fog in, we at least got a backup plan. All right. We get one Super Shroom, one Thunder Rage, and one Life Shroom for Bone Tail, it seems. Yep, 55. Bushi drop would be nice. No Bushi drop. 
We haven't really been. We got the two ice storm drops, and that's about it for tonight. Uh, so problem being, we have to sweet treat right off the bat, which sucks. We have to sweet treat right off the bat for Bone Tail, which sucks. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's hope for like a Toad Boo audience. Uh, that would be great. One more time. Okay. Check items. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Band dull bones. Oh, that's a person. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he just banned the username Dullbones from the channel. Okay, there's not very many boos. This is just going to be full piranhas. This is not the greatest. Uh, could have been better. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Okay. At least we've got an A-list... Like at least we're at least we're an A-list star, so we get a lot of audience members, which will make up for the fact that it's uh, piranhas. Okay. Same as last time. Had to had to sweet treat to start. Oh boy, man, you really you really are gonna be a bastard tonight, aren't you? You must be a lot of fun at parties, huh? Fantastic start. God damn. Great start. Looking like the level zero prologue pit fight start, honestly. On the bright side, that's double danger. That's the sweet treat I needed. Okay. Okay. Okay, the double bite was a rough start, but we're about back up to a regular fight now. And now we just gotta find a way to keep the damage flowing and not choke. That's it. Okay. Truers in chat? Alex, you're stinky, smelly poopy. Literally didn't. I got full health. What do you mean? Okay. Guess you knew the bite was coming. Fair enough. Should have seen that one coming. Alex knew the bite was there. It's fine, though, because we need to... Is Alex a truer? Alex is a big truer. Huge truer. That's what already three bites? Cool game. Cool game, Bone Tail. Cool fucking game. 50% bites so far, huh? 
I'm not gonna strat track the whole time. It's just counting it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 50%. Awesome, fun, wow. Okay. But the damage is a flowing. Bone tails are burning. back, rinse and repeat. Everything's fine so far. Damn, I really almost hit that, huh? That's crazy. Not even sure how I almost hit that, but I know I did. on turns where you're not doing anything. Yeah, exactly. That's the one silver lining for the most part. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Don't mind if I do! Thank you! That could come in handy! That's just the beginning of the fight. We could still get more. And we get the bingo, audience fills back up. It's not very many boos, but the more boos, the better. The piranha plants can't throw anything. It's just the boos, and the boos can only throw repel capes and um, uh, boo sheets. So it should only be helpful items when they do pop up. No thank you. I would prefer if that just didn't happen, you know. No confusion for me, baby boy. Sorry to disappoint. Full audience appeal, does a little under half. Yeah, I think the only thing Piranha Plants do is they can eat the audience member next to them or something like that. Yeah, they can also turn you invisible. I meant, I meant item throws. They can turn you invisible too. I was just talking about item throws, sorry. And those are pretty useful if I've got storage, Super Guard storage set up. Which he has only been bre breathing. Holy shit. They're gonna eat my booze, dude. Oh, I believe it. They're gonna eat the booze. They're gonna go om nom nom nom. That's what piranha plants do. No way we get another flower bingo, right? No. Botail knows that he only won because of his stupid ass breath last time, so he's trying to cheese me with the breath again. It's not gonna fucking work, okay? I'm not letting this go down like that. No, thank you. Because I like to party with booze. So if they're eating all the booze, they're eating all the guests. And yes, I know that it was an alcohol joke, but if they take all the booze, then I can't have any. And it's no fun being sober at a party taking care of the drunk people. I've been there, done that, okay? Ugh! Okay, now it's just been like definitely at least half breaths. Holy shit. That is a lot of breaths. It is stanking up in here. Yeah, I think it's been one or two stomps, and then it was like three or four bites, and the rest has been breath. Which, I mean, if it's... If I keep super guarding it properly and it's not the bite, uh, I will not complain. It's just scary every time regardless. Okay. Another one. Slow 
slow and steady. Here we go. All right, we've hit the 25% mark. That's a quarter of the way done right there. 60 damage. God, I really do love how the star power system doesn't actually just, like, instant give you the star power. It actually, like, has the stars pop into the thing, and you don't actually get the star power until the stars are in there. It's such a weird thing that they didn't have to do, but it looks so... No like, I just think it looks stylish. I really like it. I've never really talked about it before, but I just really like it. Also, it allows us to do... It allows us to do dumb shit like this. Okay. Um, so that's a little bad... Stylish, no pun intended. There was no pun intended, I assure you. Wow, okay, cool. I was gonna say, please don't throw it on me, because that would actually fuck me up super bad. If he decided to, uh, breath. That could have theoretically been really bad, but that's fine. Uh, that should fulfill. Yeah, we got we got too big of an audience for that to not just actually fill. Okay, I need. Thank you. Okay, we got all the Gubella health. That was the main one. Ooh, I almost missed one Gubella, and then she would have been within range of a bite death. Hey, there you go. Would you look at that? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this now. I'm gonna focus on getting these heals right back up here. Play it a little bit safer than I normally do. Yeah, he hit him in the face. Didn't do any damage, but you still got a super shroom? I do, but I don't want to use it yet. Nice. Yeah, I'd really prefer to use it uh, when I have Mario alone, if possible. But if we're getting close to the end, I'll just like I I'm, I'm, I'll also just be willing to. Um. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Yeah, I don't really get that. I I've wondered that for a while. Because it is, it is a fl you'd expect it to do one damage. I don't know if it's just a boss thing or what, but. Because I know Cortez's bite, uh, you can actually do recoil damage to him, so I don't get it, honestly. Okay. Just no bite and we've been reset fully, okay? Nice. Okay, full reset, full reset. Just doesn't affect him. I mean. To be fair, that seems to literally be the logic. It's the big enemies that just don't allow you to do recoil damage on them. It's legitimately probably just because too big, too big. That at least seems to be the common theme. Okay, was it danger? One, two. Three. Nice, bro. Okay. Yeah, but Magnus is a tiny robot boy. 
Yeah, I literally think it's just the size. Like, actually. I was not joking. Okay, two more fire drives and Bone Tail will be within healing range. And Bone Tail heals in just the right position it can honestly help us, so we'll see. At the very least, it's free turns. So. Bone Tail's been healing super early against me, like in all of my recent Bone Tail fights. appeal just because I need to do this anyway. Still gets me a decent chunk in there. Uh, I'd like a bingo soon because my audience has been dwindling down a decent chunk. Like I said, it dwindles down a bit faster because of the uh, piranha plants. So, refilling my audience would be cool. Okay. Bite. All right, Bone Tail is now within healing range. That bite was annoying, but it's whatever. Nice. That's two that went to Bone Tail right after I super guarded two. That would have been, ugh, that would have been so good for me. Holy shit. Okay, it's fine. That would have been so good. With a potential bingo on the way too, I just need to hit the star bingo. Bushi in your pocket. Yeah, the Bushi it's also nice. It's just I there's it's hard for me to Unless I'm really close to the end, it's hard for me to pick a moment to use it. At the very least, I think I'd be willing to use it like right after Bone Tail heals twice. Um, but especially pre-heal. Like, if I use it, I could just completely waste a turn if Bone Tail decides to heal. So I don't want to use it before Bone Tail uses both of his heals. Unless I Absolutely have to. Also, I don't know the timing on those very well on the uh, Star Bingo, so I figured I might miss that. It's unfortunate. Okay, there's one. A well-timed one, too, I will say. I, I appreciate that timing. Okay. One more bingo could comfortably get me through this fight, SP-wise. I'm not in like a big, big trouble right now, but I've lost 44 audience members since that last bingo. Like, I, I lose the audience fast. Okay. Okay, keep it to defend. Okay, one more heal. Defend again, appeal. I was gonna say, I actually would not mind a heal from Bone Tail right there, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna do this just because I really need to get some more bingos lined up. It's one thing I'm not doing very well. I was getting a bunch of bingos. I, I feel like I've been appealing too much. FP. Okay, 
Should be all good. I don't think I can ult miss the next three. Be impressive if I did. <laughs> okay. Alright, there's the second heal. Okay. We are actually at exactly 50% of the way there. 120. Nice. Audience is below 100. And there's a poison set up that's so noxious. Okay, get, get out of here. It's not gonna be enough at this point, is it? Oh my god, it was. That's actually crazy. I can't believe that was enough. I think I'm probably gonna use the boost sheet soon. Uh, Cause the boost sheet would actually let me more freely fish for bingos. So let me make sure I get this next super guard. Okay, nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fire drive. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna boost sheet Mario. Just be safe for the next couple of turns since the heal is gone. And our audience is low. It's kinda it's kinda what we gotta do unfortunately. Gives us time to try and reset, maybe get the star bingo lined up here. Nope. Okay. Good enough boo sheet. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to start doing this with Tattle Stylishes instead. If I don't get a bingo soon, I, c I could really be in trouble now. My audience is almost half of max. God, if I wouldn't miss that star bingo, but I really didn't know the timing on that. That particular lineup. <sighs> That's three boos in a row that went to him. Okay. Feeling, feeling, feeling unloved, to say the least. Oh my god, please. I need to hit this so bad right now. Oh, that's so good. That's eight damage. All of them were pointed at Bone Tail, and it hits both the foot and the head. That's eight damage. Let's go. Oh, and the bingo, and the FP. Okay, and the bite. I, I actually don't even care. Okay, okay. Now... The boo thinks it's so funny. The boo thinks it's so fucking funny. Okay. All right. All right. I see how it is. I get it. I get it. Whatever. You're so fucking clever, don't you? <laughs> I can't. I'm dying. How much does that give? Yeah, with a full audience, that actually just straight up fills it. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah, the main issue with Piranha Plates is how fast the audience dwindles. Oh, please. I was gonna say, if I don't get that, I'm done. Oh, okay. Keep it going. Really good position. Sorry, what did it fizz? Oh yeah, of course. No, thanks, dude. Much appreciated, brother. Oh, dude, that's sick. Oh my god, dude, that's sick, bro. I mean, I guess if I hit this, we get a refresher on the audience again. There, there we go. 
Now we're getting the bingos. Yeah, give me that audience back. Make them go crazy. Go stupid. Ah, uh, go crazy. Ah. Uh. Okay, bites. Okay, we're so close here. We're getting into the single digit digit turns for it for uh, for attacking turns to win this. We're getting there. Uh, I don't like that the jets are pointed at me, though. That's the only thing that is kind of sticking out to me here. A little, little spooky scary. Get another hit. Mushroom bingo lined up. <laughs> m -m 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 mushroom bingo lined up. Cover my bases here. We get the mushroom bingo, we're fine. We don't get it, we get the SP. Yes, Pee Wee. Nice. What this song's name is, by the way, I don't know. Probably Bone Tail. It would make sense to be called like it's. Pro I mean, it's used for it's used for the dragon fight, so it's probably something related to dragon. Oh my god, is that is that a Rocky I see? Hello, Rocky. You're here for the Bone Tail fight. Yeah, it plays during all the dragon fights. You can just look it up on YouTube, honestly. Somebody's put it up already. Dragon Song TTYD Banger. Put that in Google and you'll find it. Oh my god, and the mushroom bingo? Well now it's lining me up with all the bingos. I talk about not getting boo, I get a boo. I talk about not getting bingos, I get bingos. What, what can I say? Man, it really sucks that I don't have a million dollars. God, I, ugh. I, I, the world needs to give me a million dollars already. It's actually crazy that it hasn't already happened, if I'm being completely honest. And a bingo. Has donated a million dollars. Pog. I knew you had a million dollars. I don't know what it was about you, but you gave me that vibe. I've been waiting for you to ask. Exactly. See? Good thing happen good things happen to those that are really fucking impatient. And just fucking demand things from the world. You know what I'm saying? It's the old adage. It goes something like that, or I don't know. Oh wow, we're not gonna get Mario health off that? Oh, that's kinda cringe. Kind of Mario's gonna be in lethal for breath. Kinda bad. We'll hold out a little bit longer. We don't necessarily need to use it right now. I thought it was really just supposed to have blue eyes. I did know that. Weirdly enough, I did know that. I don't know why I knew that, but I knew it. Probably because I'm a gamer, if I had to guess. 
Yep, I brought one life shroom into this fight and have not lost it yet. This fight's been going really well. I think I've only missed one super guard so far, and all the other damage has been bites. I don't think I've missed a single breath, and I missed like one stomp, maybe two stomps. It was one or two, no more, no less. I don't remember which one though. Hey, wow! Is you're here for the end of the f you're in you're here for the end of the run if I don't choke it. Happy Thanksgiving. Because right now I'm going to thanks give Bone Tail a fucking ass whooping. All right, let's go ahead and get that damage. Wow, I missed that one, damn. It's the end of the run whether you choke it or not. Yeah, but like, I mean end of level one prologue pit. I, I don't just mean end of this run. Oh, maybe move on to the next one. You know what I mean? We could do this in two, technically three attempts because again, I did quit a run and restart it at like floor 20 because I lost a life stream to something dumb. Uh, so technically three attempts, uh, but like two real attempts, two like real attempts. So actually, we might complete this in like the same or less attempts than level zero prologue pit. Holy shit. Still harder, but uh, I just think that's funny. You never responded to my DM saying happy Thanksgiving, but your brother did. Guess I know who I'm sending five subs. Oh, I haven't really been checking much disc. Oh, one second. Oh, wow. Hi, wows. Wow. Happy Thanksgiving smile. There you go, buddy. Just for you, pal. I sent you a DM mid-fight. There, there you go. Uh, shit, I guess I have to send you five subs. I mean, don't do that. But... It was... Don't send me the subs, just don't send Japeth the subs. I don't care if you send subs or not, just don't send Japeth the subs. I think is the main thing. Or to sub right now, it's either pie or my stomach. <laughs> Please, I require... Oh, hello, stutter. That was almost a wasted turn. Bite. I felt it in my bones. Felt it in my bones, let me tell you. <laughs> you went back and saw the reaction? Like, oh, shh, shh, guys, he doesn't know. Guys, it's fine. It's funny because I was I was actually legitimately about to do it, and then you sent me that message. Also, uh, that that RNG with the Gumbella was bullshit, and if he bites, Gumbella dies. So our life stream. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! That's bad! Oh wow! That's bad! Even if I was defending. Wow! Oh wow! Okay, there goes the life stream. Got it. That was a really bad RNG. That RNG for that was. Ooh. Ooh, that was a really bad sweet treat. Holy shit. RG has to balance out somehow, I suppose. Don't choke, smile. Because there goes the one life shroom. Oh, I hit that. Ooh. I actually wasn't confident on that one. Did you mover list this run? No, because I don't get the choice. Movers actually decided to show up this time. What can I say? Okay. Okay, if Mario gets hit or anybody gets hit, I'm probably gonna use the uh, super shroom. Glad I saved it up to this point. See, like, I can hit those, but then it are, it, the other ones, I literally can't hit the Goombellas. It's so obnoxious. I feel like it's always Goombella, too. Still got a super guard. We're not close enough that we can just regular guard yet.
Okay. That's four! Four out of the five went to Bone Tail, and the one that went to me, I didn't have Super Guard storage up. Oh my god with this nonsense. Please! If you give me that, the game is basically over. Just give it to me. Uh, we just need two more fire drives, and it's over. Two more fire drives. We're set up for the first one right now. Yeah, that would have given me, like, a free fire drive. Holy shit. Georgina Bookins. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Okay. Oh, what's the point? Um, so... Bone Tail has two defense, and, and Goombella does one damage. So Goombella can't actually hurt him. Um, but if I use the book, so if I use the tattle, it does a couple of things. First of all, if I'm at 5 HP or below, it gives me more star power um, when using a move when in danger, as opposed to just, like, appealing. And when you use the move, it can counts as a sex successful attack. So for the bingos in the top right, it actually, like, pops a bingo up there. Like, it, it gives you a bingo opportunity, as opposed to, like, if you use head bonk or if you just appeal, it won't. And bingos are really important. So it's actually, it's actually really useful. But she can't attack anyway, so she might as well do the book. Oh shit. Real shit. We defend. One more. One more turn! If Bone Tail breaths, we guard. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Not a breath. Not a breath. Don't make me sweat. Nice! GG's! GG's! Well, it's not that I'm nervous over the breath. It's just the breath is the only potential way that he could win. GG! Second slash third try, depending on how you count that first time. But that's besides the point. Woo! Level 1 prologue pin is officially free! <laughs> I've done it twice! Oh. Go download the VODs! I know! I know! It took you five and a half hours. Correct! This is a long ass run! It takes a long ass time! Ooh, oh baby. Got it, and this time we'll have a VOD to put on YouTube. I won't lose it into the void. That's the only reason I had to do this a second stupid time is because I didn't have the VOD. Uh... I was gonna say, I don't think it's gonna let me in. Go to sleep, Rafa, kiss me. I just, you walked in right as I won. You walked in right as I won. The entire... Go to sleep? No! Now I have to go do Uber Eats and make more money! Your thoughts on level 1 versus level 0 in a clear and concise manner for a clip? Uh, so I have to do it within a minute. Um, I, I think... I think that the main difference is um, if you if you don't take into account the speed that Ultra Hammer gives you, um, is that there's a lot of enemies that you can kill easier because you don't have to Sweet Treat for FP. You can purely save Sweet Treat uh, for if you want to do Ultra Hammer or like if, if you need to replenish FP off of your Ultra Hammer. Uh, but mostly you can save Sweet Treat for HP, which makes it a lot safer overall, especially in the Bone Tail fight, because the main difference in these two is that the Bone Tail fight, because you have to use Fire Drive, a lot of times you're left wide open, especially if you don't have a really good audience, because you have to Sweet Treat to get the FP back, and it puts you in a very vulnerable position. Um, the only thing that Fire Drive makes easier is potential is like the Dry Bones, but only very slightly. Um, and the wizards, but honestly, not even the wizards. If, like, I really don't think it's that much better for the wizards. Overall, level one prologue pit is way harder. Way harder. Mentioned Zap Tap and Sleepy Stomp and Double Dip. 
So because I didn't mention because I didn't mention I only mentioned Fire Drive earlier. So the other important batches are Sleepy Stop, uh, Zap Tap, and uh, Double Dip. So Zap Tap's almost completely useless. Uh, there's only four, maybe five fights that you would potentially need to use it for. Uh, but like those those aren't even guaranteed to show up. Zap Tap don't need it. Sleepy Stop don't need it. It can be helpful, especially if you're not very good at super guarding the uh, Lakitu's. But for the most part, your damage output's the same. Plus, you get the six damage first strike on the first Lagatu. So I honestly don't think it matters that much. Because uh, that's the main reason that you would use Sleepy Stomp. Um, I guess Puffs too. But again, you just get the damage out. If they're on the ground, you can hammer them. It's a lot of damage. You kill them faster. You have items. And then for the Elite Wizards, um, you could still... You, double Dip is the, is the item that you need for Elite Wizards. Uh, because even if you have, unless you have two shooting stars, you can't kill them with two items one turn. But you get to first strike the first one and then double in with items after that. So as long as all of them don't heal each other, you can get them down to one elite wizard and then finish the fight from there. So I still don't think it makes that much of a difference. And I think level one prologue pit is very much, is, is easily the harder one. Easily. Pretty lucky doesn't matter. Pretty lucky was something I tacked on when I had like power smash or sleepy stomp and I didn't want to use both power smash and sleepy stomp. That was just a bonus. I, I think another thing that you can't, you don't necessarily have to take into account, but the f the fact that Ultra Hammer is faster does make a difference skill wise, because this was a whole two two and a half hours difference in the runs that I won. Fatigue and stamina are a real thing when the challenge like this is you have to do probably over a hundred sweet treats, like you actually have to do a shit almost a hundred sweet treats, probably more. Probably more than 100 sweet treats. It's very super guard intensive, and if you fuck up a couple times in one turn in the later floors, you just like lose a life stream or you die. The fatigue, like it, it, it tacks on. I am tired. I am very tired. And I, I think like, well, while, while it doesn't matter, like, oh, Ultra Hammer's faster, lol. It makes a difference. If you could zoom through the first 50 floors in an hour, like I think the fastest I did it was like 50 minutes or something. That, that, oh my god. Especially if you could do two runs in one night. I can't do two runs of this in one night. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and raid him. And with that, bye bye